Good evening, everybody, and happy Halloween! My name is Cameron, or today, taking on the role of Claude Frollo from Disney's The Hunchback of Notre Dame, um, a different Disney, not the big corporation that feeds on your smiles, uh, otherwise I'd be sued for that. Certainly a different Disney. Uh, today, playing a point-and-click point adventure game, uh, it's called Truberbrook. We've been here at least once before. Uh, it's, a, it's a pleasant town. Uh, I have no idea where we left off. I've arrived at some oh, sort but of the game facility. is going to tell us. It looks abandoned. This is our boy. Uh, I do not remember what his name is, um, but he's good. We're catching up with Gretchen. There's some weird spooky stuff happening in Germany. The year is 1967, I think, if I recall correctly, which I oftentimes do not. And um, yeah, it's a point-and-click adventure game, and it's kind of spooky. So I felt that it would be uh, fitting. But enough about me. Um, more about... A compartment in which to shed tools. It's true. Sheds are where you shed your tools. If you have tools on your body, you must shed them off. Otherwise, um, you'll be over encumbered, and that's a bad thing. Fun fact, this game was all done in claymation. It's awesome. It's beautiful. And the music is very, very Debris. pleasant. <laughs> Debris. Oh, did I find something? Ooh. People keep losing helmets all the time. <laughs> yeah, especially when they fall underneath the rubble and die, probably. It's kind of spooky. Kind of, there kind of looks like there's a skull up in the corner there. That is like, that's like vaguely skull-like. I dig that. Well, not really. I dig the debris because I fell into the debris or I dug into it for stuff. Cogs. Show me the cogs. I forget. Was there a way to walk faster in this? Oh, if I hold space, I can a do rusty that. rusty old cog wheel. <laughs> I'll show you a rusty old cog wheel. This chain is part of the cable car. It's true. Did I actually utilize the cable car to get up here? I think I did. I don't quite recall. All right. No way. That hurtling chain would probably hurt me very badly. Oh, it's true. Oh, if you turn the thing on and then the chain would be like, <laughs> and do that thing, that would very Let's much hurt. It. Let's do it. Oh, pull it. Pull it, buddy. I have chain. Okay. Uh, well, if I attach the chain to the, uh, how about I put it on this thing? Oh, I like the little physics thing I going on there. Reach it. Aww. What if? What if, what if I put it onto these gears, huh? Do I attach? Nice. Oh, I got a gear. Okay, that's cool. So I have a gear. I got chain. Um, was there something in the shed? Oh, maybe I attach it to the shed? Attach it to the chain link. And I'll rip the door open. Oh, I'll rip the door open. I'm gonna get into the shed and get the tools. Watch out, buddy. It'll hurt. There we go. Yeah, nice. Open the door. Get it on the floor. And now you can walk the dinosaur. Where's this thing? What lies inside of the shed? Is there a hunchback in here? I hope not. Fire? Did I just get fire? Maybe it's dynamite. Oh, maybe I use the gear with this thing? I don't know. We'll see. That's the beauty of these things. Ha ha! I'm not sure, not sure how a gear helped me accomplish that. But I'm gonna push this car now. It still needs a little extra something to get it going. Like dynamite, perhaps? Or something else completely? Plus if I missed. Oh, there's a little thing up there. Big old wooden thing. Can Danger. I touch it? Keep out. Oh, it's a sign? That does not look like a sign to me. But I will take it. Oh, perhaps I set pfft, duh. I set fire to the fire pit. That makes total sense. No, 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 Hans. That would be a really bad idea. Bad idea, Hans. I've remembered your name sporadically, and that chain is kind of doing a little, doing a little dancey thing over there. Go get him, chain. You do that little wiggle. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Yeah, uh, that's that's what Anna says, and so we shall. Oh, I record myself talking about the tent. Captain's log. It's a tent. Beverly, I believe I found Gretchen's campsite. She probably went ahead without me. Beverly. Beverly. Can you hear me, Beverly? Talk to me, Beverly. What else can I click on? I did not yet click on. Can I click at the door? Nope. Oh, there's something underneath. Oh, is it rope? Ropa? A belt. For hitting people with. Uh, excuse me, for disciplining people with. It's different. Stop. Got you. Stop. Don't touch me there. That is my no no mine. Um, I could use my helmet. May I put you my helmet on? helmet on? I just can't ram my way through these exceptionally massive wooden bars. I will show you a, an exceptionally massive wooden bar. But first, uh, let me just set it on fire. The smithereens. Y yes, I believe that is the point. Maybe this sign? 
Restricted area. Okay. No admittance. Okay. I, I admit that I agree that I probably shouldn't go in there, but I want to. What else have I clicked on? Uh, fire. Oh, uh, you combine the fire and the rope together. Belt. Fire and belt together? Okay. And how do I plan on doing that? I've done a lot to this thing. Oh, I have attached the pipe to the thing. Oh, it's a propane pipe. Oh, I'm going to light that thing on fire. Zoom. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> safety helmet. I've got my safety thing. Oh, I'm going in. Oh, man. Oh, I love this. Wow. Go get him. Ew. That was pretty cool. I wonder if that was too loud. I don't have a limiter on my headphones out source. We'll see if that works well. Nyom. Nyom. This is kind of cool. Good to see that the mines go this deep. It just keeps on going. And it just keeps on going. My goodness. But when will I run out? I'm definitely going to run out of fuel at some point. That or I'm going to asphyxiate myself because it's probably very smoggy in there now and filled with carbon dioxide. Or carbon monoxide. Yeah. We're going to die. We're going to die down to the mines. That's what's going to happen. Hmm. Buzz, buzz, buzz. All right. Well, it's a damn good thing that the cart decided to just break right before the edge of the cavern. That's convenient. You have any comments about that, Hans? Captain's log. Beverly, the time has come. I'm gonna jump. I'm stranded. No. Deep there is still hope left. Sort of God cave. What will I do? It's freezing cold. I'm going to die. I can hardly see a thing. I'm still gonna die. Whoever finds this recording, please hand the cassette tape to Miss Beverly. I can't even remember her last name. <laughs> I don't even remember Beverly's last name. It's a fine. Hello? 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 Anybody in the caverns or is it just me? <laughs> is it getting cold in these caverns or is it just me? Pickaxe. Yoink. Nice. What else can I click? Oh, I can get the gear back, right? Oh, I can... Minecraft. Ding, ding. Oh, nope, just taking it back now, y'all. One gear this time. One pick, let's go. <laughs> Kick to the right. Kick it again. Crisscross. Away with it. Bam! <laughs> oh, there's water down there. I probably should have known. Oh, is that supposed to be water? If I... Oh, I still have the fishing pole from earlier. Oh, that's excellent. I'm gonna throw a fishing pole the in there. I've fishing is a thing, but I'm really not in the mood right now. Well, fine. Okay, I don't need to have fun either. That's totally fine. I'll play with this thing then. Always remember to wear your helmets, kids. Um, if you're an adult out there, don't remember to wear your helmets. This is exclusionary. Do not wear your helmets. Hans wishes the worst for you. I, however, wish the best for you. Don't let your soul be reaped by the reaper. Do non-sinful things all the time. But judge the souls of man as if you were God himself. That's a message from Claude Furlo to the youngins out there. Do it. And break open pipes. Be dangerous. Okay. W was that dangerous enough? Uh. May I put the gear in there? Good thing there's no monkey wrench involved in this puzzle. Oh, thank goodness we broke the fourth ball for that one. So what Years now? Years of decay made this pipe brittle. It's almost coming off the wall. Mm, I wonder if I can climb on it. Oh, can I touch this thing now? There you go. Water, march. March water. March water, march water, march water. Can I, like, fill up the pond? Can I throw a coin in there? Ding. For chance? Quarter for my wishes? I wish I could stay in Tripperbrook forever. I wish I could someday find someone to really connect to. I wish I could leave this godforsaken cave. I wish this wishing thing would work. <laughs> I yearn for genuine human connection. I someday find someone to really connect to. That's what I was saying. Ding. I thought surely there would be a sound effect. Can anybody hear me? Well, I can most certainly hear myself in here. That's pretty. That's pretty easy. All right. What about that thing? I see the tracks. Maybe okay. I can swing over. Maybe. Oh, what is that? That thing. Can I throw my 
Can I throw my pickaxe up there? Help! Hey, stalactite! Help me out! Is what I'm saying to basically myself. Can I just throw the pickaxe up there? Here goes nothing. Wait, but perhaps I perhaps I have it across to the rope. Oh my god. Oh. All right. Oh, it plugged the hole. Well, would you look at that? Hans has the power to just absolutely go for it. Dude, I'm gonna freeze. I'm gonna freeze like this. I'm gonna take the pickaxe with me, because that seems useful. I'll take that back with me. Nice. Uh, I don't need the pipe thing no more, I don't think. I can get in the boat and I can just like use my pickaxe to push myself off, right? Nice. It's puzzle time. Oh, get it, buddy. Oh! Nice. Glad to know that that worked. <laughs> I just love the way we're meandering across the little cavern river here. That's wonderful. It's so smooth. What a smooth and chilly ride. My drink of choice this evening, for those who are curious, is a Polar Premium Seltzer. It's naturally calorie-free and tastes like mandarin oranges. This is a pretty pleasant taste. I found it at my parents' house, and I just kind of stole it because I can't seem to find it in my local grocery store. That or I haven't looked enough. Tannhauser and Gretchen. Finally. Finally. Reunite. Oh, it's about time. You finally made it. I almost thought you'd never come. Hello, Gretchen. Look at you, covered in dirt. Look at you, not Did covered you in dirt. Did you stumble all the way here through the old mines? Had a little uh, help from explosions. I don't have to answer that. Uh, anyway, you're not going to believe what just happened to me. Yeah, I guess rice. you're right. Bra bra well, you brainwashed. Tell me every single detail when we have the time. Oh, is there no time? I guess we're gonna die in here, right? Oh, hey, oh, look at that big they giant sure ball. Big doors around here. Wow. It looks like they really wanted to make sure there was no trespassing. None at all. No trespassing whatsoever. Okay. Oh, I can click on things. How about that thing? Oh, What's I don't know. What's that over that there? Oh. Is, what was it? Just a crack in the wall. Oh, all right. Is that all? That's a big old door. Can I... Captain Smog! There's a giant door! What do Beverly, I do? For a moment, I thought I was a goner. Now that I've been able to escape this compromising situation... I thought that thing wasn't working. Gretchen and I are standing in front of a gigantic steel gate. I'll get back to you with more details. <laughs> I thought the tape recorder wasn't working anymore. All right, what else is there? I see stuff on the wall. There we go. Oh, oh. What's that over there? I don't know. You're not it says something in those runes. These are Germanic runes, my special field of interest. Oh my goodness, what a coincidence. Huh, this one roughly translates to... <clears throat> Be gone, stranger. For all you may find here is certain death. Okay, because to me, it kind of Look, looks like in yeah, like kaput the lights on the vault and board. shift. You see that after? I think it's supposed to be a keyboard combination. Oh, they got an afterglow to them. That's kind of cool. Show me that ruin thing again. Oh, it's fluorescent. Kind of cool. I also see two lights on over there. Maybe these inscriptions are somehow connected to the opening mechanism. Perchance. Where Some is the opening mechanism? Photonic reception, perhaps. Or like glow-in-the-dark powers. You know, something completely much more simple. How about over here? What is that? Can I get a light here? Look, Gretchen, over there! No, no. nothing. It was just, it was just a lie. What about this one? Could you point the light in this direction? How about that way, Gretchen? More runes? Nope. Just nothing at all. Just a shadow. That's all. Just a very spooky shadow. It is Halloween. Makes sense. What do you make of this? <laughs> That's a ceiling, buddy. Ooh. Tenhauser, these are ancient Egyptian hieroglyphs. Oh, nice. What are they doing here? Oh, I see. I don't know too much about them. I just noticed that every single time I find one of those runes or glowy things, another gateway. light opens on the door. It's followed by the symbol of death. It's a photonic Doesn't receptor. Your curiosity as well. Kind of do. It kind of do, there, Did Gretchen. You that other little light turning on? Yeah, yeah, I noticed. Yeah, that thing. So not there. Already got that. Oh, I don't think I investigated that, did I? What's that over there? Look, on the ceiling. Oh, they're like, oh, they're Interesting. colorful. Are you thinking what I am thinking? A map? Is this a graffito? Graffiti down here. Graffiti. In any or case, graffito. it's hard to decipher. Are you seeing that? To be fair, I am completely unsure whether no, or not it should be graffiti or should be graffito. 
I'm not a there, another light. I'm not a connoisseur. You need to get that door open. Anna, how you doing over there carving your pumpkin? It has more seeds than Abigail. Oh my god, it's got more seeds? We can make more orja if we wanted to. Oh, that's that's okay. We carved a pumpkin last week. That was pretty fun. And um Anna's carving a pumpkin pumpkin right now. Oh, I'm getting a little bit closer. Oh, click the button? Is that the one thing that I need left? Click. Oh, no, I gotta have all the... And again. Oh, I have to do them all again? Oh, that's annoying. Okay, well, I know that there was thing there. Can we take a look at the graffito again? Can I skip that text? Okay, graffito is nice. Nice. There was one there. There was one up here. There was Could one in on the far left corner. Thing again? Dink. I think I gotta scan them all first. And then I click the button. Not too difficult. It's actually rather easy. No, Any not ideas? Gonna... It's pretty easy. Point the light to the hieroglyphs again. Ancient German puzzles based off of photonic reception? Not that difficult. I think I don't think these I light up these symbols. Oh, I don't think I scanned these ones, did I? Oh, I did not. And there was another one over wow. on the corner. These look like Neolithic cave paintings. Yes. Who would have guessed? The ancient a practice of, of hexagon. Fallen asleep around some sort of hexagon. Hexagon. That Damn is correct. Six-sided polygon. You got it. You got it. Fallen asleep. Maybe they're just dead. <laughs> Perchance it's a message about death. All right. I don't remember where this last one was. There was. There was something there. If I move slowly enough. I don't remember where the other one was. Oh, goodness. Oh, maybe I just clicked the door. No, I don't record on the door again. That just, that means no sense. I thought there was a crack on the wall over here. I don't get it. Open sesame. No, Gretchen. That is, that is not how that works. I will assure you. That is all, it's all based off of inquisitory and logical processes. I just, I just don't remember where the other one is. Geechin, talk to me. Talk to me, girl. What have you found? I don't remember where the other one is, honestly. I do, I do wow. not remember where the other one is. Congratulations. I think you found your ritual site. There's definitely a ritual happening here. Uh, I found your camp outside. Uh, all right, uh, what do you think of these scribblings? I was abducted, imprisoned, I was abducted and scrutinized. abducted, imprisoned, and scrutinized by a mad scientist. Among other things. I mean, he didn't seem you that mad. He just seemed a little confused, to be honest. No, no. For real, there is an old sanitarium down this valley. That is also true. I thought no one's lived there in ages. Nope. People. There's at least one so-called scientist. He conducted a wide range of crazy tests on me. He asked me a yes. bunch of questionnaires yes, and said that I would get compensation. Personal but then he didn't give me anything. Tenhauser, are you sure you haven't suffered some sort of brain damage? I can't be too sure. How do I know? Exactly. Dude, that's what I'm, I'm saying. How do I know if I'm not why? living in the simulation? All right, I saw the graffito. There was. Oh wait, what was that? What was this? Could you point the light in this direction? Is it the scribble? Oh, there we go. There's another one. Interesting. This looks like a Latin inscription. Intentant omnia mortem. Interpreted Something tweet. about death, this right? Translates to path of no return. Nice. <laughs> Hogwash, you Romans. Oh, dude. Now there are five lines. I think I should press the button. What does it mean? It means press the damn button, Tannhauser. Press the damn button. See what happens. Go ahead and give it a try. <laughs> Boop. Are you kidding me? And again. Oh, what? Well, how many of them are su my supposed? Oh, maybe some of them were green and some of them were other colors. I may have noticed that. May have potentially noticed that. Can we take a look at the graffito again? Or maybe it's supposed to be. No, I already did four. That one's kind of green. It's got like an arrow and stuff on it. This one on the ceiling, I think, was green. Right. Did you show me that ruin thing again? That one looked like it turned green. I don't think. I don't think this one was green. There was that one there. There was one in the middle, and there was this one here. This one, I don't know which ones were green. I think some of them were green and some of them were red. Could you light up the cave paintings for me again? Let's see, I'm gonna have to go over them, paying a little more attention this time. That one turned green. 
That's cool. Okay. Oh, that has five. That has five people on it. This has three Please words on it. Latin inscriptions again. Maybe. That has three words. Maybe that's got something to do with it. And then this one up here, here had two lines? Please point the light to the hieroglyphs again. I, I know not. Okay. Again, five lights. That feels good. Maybe I maybe I do it again, right? Could you show me that ruin thing again? Just shine them all. That one also has two things. Oh, it went back again. Uh, okay, maybe I just try one light. What does it say on it? Does it read maybe something? This is some kind of activation device. Hmm. If I click it with one light, what does that mean? Nope. All right. And again. Okay. Maybe if I investigate the door again? I've been thinking. Okay. What if it wasn't meant to keep someone out, but to keep something in? Let's find out. Like a great plague. I do see I do see five locks on the door. I definitely see that. But what could it mean? Five locks, five lights is what I'm interpreting. Uh perhaps I have to do it in a particular order. Oh, maybe I have to go to the... I haven't checked out the rope yet. That's something I haven't checked out. I think this may start a moment in my life where I start Did to openly admit that I'm not now? good at point-and-click adventure games or puzzle games. I'm not the puzzle master. Is there anything else to click? No, I just see those two things. Uh, Gretchen, what do you think of these inscriptions? Like, do you have any sort of idea? Something to push us in the right direction, perhaps? Anything to push along the narrative? Gretchen? 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 I don't know. Who'd build such a thing? I thought so. No idea. Definitely not my proto Germans. As opposed to the not so proto Germans? Um, what do you think of the scribblings? Why is this place all covered in scribblings? This is puzzling. It is definitely puzzling. All of these puzzle. characters are in different languages. Okay. It's impossible to tell from down here whether they were written in different eras as well. Um, hmm. Do you have more what thoughts on that? This is all of these characters. It's in okay. I was abducted. No, oh, we already I, talked about that. Yes. Ten I found your found camp her. outside. Yes. I waited for you. Of course you did. Of but since it did. took you so long, I couldn't resist going ahead. I was too busy getting my brain analyzed a at a sanitarium. All right, well. Hmm. Okay, so there's five inscriptions on the wall, all from potentially different eras. I wonder if it's supposed to be obvious when those eras are from. Maybe I do that in order, right? Something Neolithic that feels ancient. Could you light up the cave paintings for me again? That feels like very, very early human. Um, the Egyptians? I think that came next, right? Um, Germanic runes, I... Oh, what is this thing? Oh, do I know about this thing? What's that over there? I don't think I scanned this thing. Is this just cracking the wall? Definitely just cracking the wall. Only a flock of bats. Oh, incredible. Or is it a swarm? A herd? A gaggle. A gaggle, a, a gaggle of bats, of course. I think the Egyptians came next. To the hieroglyphs again. Um, I guess... I don't know whether, I guess... Germanic runes came. I think Germanic runes probably came before the Romans, if I had to guess. And then graffiti seems very, very modern. Just like spray paint and stuff. Again? So maybe. That's my guess. Or it might have been German then. Maybe German then the higher uh, Egyptians. Please then show Latin. Me the Latin inscriptions again. This is, just, this is just a guess. Maybe it's got something to do with the time period. Spooky, wookie, wookie. All right, and then the Can graffito. We take a look at the graffito again? Graffito. Cameron, I missed you. Dakota, I missed you. I also miss Dakota in general, south and again, north. Although months. I've never actually been there myself, there is something that makes me long for the experience. Speaking of Dakota, I guess, the state, uh, Germanic states, early Germanic states, Neolithic periods, we're talking about history right now. I don't know anything about history, to be perfectly honest. I am not a very historical person. Damn it, I got the red again. And again. Okay, maybe maybe I got the order of the Germanic runes and the other ones wrong. Maybe? Or perhaps ooh, I don't know. What about the uh okay, let me go back again. 
How about this one? Could you light up the cave paintings for me again? Oh, history not being my thing. Dakota's not uh, not really much for Dakota either. More a mappy kind of guy. Dude, I love calculus, and that may sound like a very like uh, sadomasochistic thing to say, but I love calculus. Calculus Could quiz. You show me that ruin thing again. That was my jam. Complex equations, imaginary numbers, a lot of it. Partial differentiation. Oh yeah, that's the good stuff. Please point the light to the Dude, hierarchy. calculus sounds so fun. Calculus is wonderful. I mean, if you if you kind of you know if you can kind of wrap your heads around like if you like the stuff that's up to like precalc and trigonometry and stuff like sine waves and whatever, math only gets better, in my humble opinion. Please show me the Latin inscriptions again. And I'll never be able to do that kind of intense math again because now we're in the working field and the working field doesn't really at least in my field there's not really much use for all that kind of fancy mathematics, not anymore at least. Can no more fun. No more proving differential again? equations for the sake of a good grade in class. No, no. I'd only have to do that for fun. But I choose to do other things for fun. Again, like, five lights. Like this thing. Okay. Five lights. I did them in what I'm guessing to be the correct order. Uh, click button. Boop. Boop. Oh, no. And... Again. Okay. What could the puzzle be? Do I have to? I don't know if I have to do them up in a particular type of order. Can we take hmm. a look at the graffito again? Go back to the graffito. They all appear, the lights, in the same order. I have tried once already. Could you show oh, me? Oh, maybe that if I go back and forth again? between the runes, do they light up or do they have to be separately? Or perhaps there's another sixth light and I'm just not. I just haven't found it yet. I just gave Can up we take looking. A look at the graffito again that's a possibility okay go back to the graffito and oh okay okay oh interesting okay so the, uh, do the lights have the nothing to do with it again. it's just every time that i light one of them up something happens right okay and i just like okay how about oh, i already tried four maybe i have to do three okay Again. I haven't tried two yet. Can we take a look at the graffiti? Have I tried again? two yet? I feel like I'm overthinking this. Or maybe I have to find another one. Do I have to find another one? There might be more. I haven't scanned around enough to see if there are more. Hello? Maybe if I just keep it. Can we take a look at the graffiti? Maybe again? if I just make one of them really, really bright and I just keep it there. The more that I do this. Can we take a look at the graffiti again? The lights just keep on going. What is the significance about that? Let's try three. I don't know if I tried three yet. Click button. All right, that's okay. And again. Uh, well, I definitely didn't try two. Could you show me that ruin thing again? I definitely did five. And three and two. Or maybe not two. Oh! Could you show me that ruin thing again? I thought I was good at puzzles, but this one's confuzzling me. On the bright side, I can just point and click. It's a point and click adventure. All I'm doing is pointing and clicking, and that's exactly what I'm here to do. All right, I'm gonna try the number two. Okay, that's fine. That's all right. And again. That's valid. That's valid. Um. What about? Are there more inscriptions, perhaps? Do I have to talk about the door again? I can just walk around a bunch. Haven't tried that. I haven't called, tried my little dude to walk around. Maybe if I just walk all the way to the back, I get a better view of everything. Maybe. Keep walking. Keep going, Hans. Hans? Hans, keep going. Buddy. Hans, you got this. No? All right. Keep walking back here. What do you find, Hans? What can you see? Look with your Hansy eyes. What is it? What is it about Germany 1967 that shocks us so? Sanitariums, giant vault doors, Ancient and not so ancient hieroglyphics. Oh, that is outside of my thing. Oh my god. Whoop. <laughs> I clicked off of my game screen. We're good. Oh. No, I, <laughs> I did it again. <laughs> I keep clicking off the game screen. That's not correct. Maybe if I just click the button. What if I just click it with no lights on? I didn't try that yet. Just click it with no lights on. Maybe it's that simple. I shouldn't have done anything. I should have just clicked the button to begin with. Because if that's the case, that is mildly infuriating. 
Button. And again. Okay. Gretchen, do you have anything else for me? I think I've scanned all the hieroglyphs. Well, this is mighty confusing. What do you think? Who builds? No. Nope. I agree. I agree. All right, back to work. Now nah, I already talked to you about all this stuff. That's fine. I can I can record the door again. I've already made an entry on this. This is true. I was thinking the same exact thing. Now that we are Barely. in agreement. For a moment, I thought I was a goner. This is true. Now that I've been able to escape this compromise. Oh, I don't think I've ever actually recorded the same thing over again. Now I can gate. hear what the the log I'll is. Get back to you with more details. That's pretty cool. That is pretty, pretty cool. All right. Uh, the proto germs. Could you light up the cave paintings for me again? Is there a way for me to, like, keep the lights on? Are there controls that I'm not remembering? Let me, let me check something. Point and click, walk and interact. Double click to power walk or show the, I just show the inventory. Hotspot indicator. I have an inventory. Uh, I have a fishing fishing rod maybe i can use my i definitely cannot do that could you light up the cave paintings for me again okay that one seems to stick around for a little while okay okay all right stop looking at the light again maybe i just have to get them all lit up at the same time okay now this one come on you Let's got point it the light to the hieroglyphs again don't go away don't go away stay there you are currently lit up and that is a good thing oh you're going away nope don't do that could you light up the cave paintings for me again Maybe if I just don't click the button at all, I just I just keep keep on going. All right, how about how about next? I do this one. Can we take a look at the graffito again? Again, I'm so five confused. Lines. I don't know. Could you show me that ruin thing again? I don't think I've missed anything to click on. And the numbers keep going back around. I suppose. See, I did that one, and there's the there's the spooky Latin one. Please show me the Latin inscriptions again. Boop. Just keeps on accounting. Maybe maybe I just keep scanning them. It, it feels a little feels a little insane, but could you light up the cave it could be right for me again. It could very well be right. Completely and utterly befuddled. I wish I could scan those bats again. Power walk, buddy. Keep on a power walking. There wasn't anything else that I missed, I think, right? Aside from just the door. Exciting. These must be the thrills they advertised. Thrills. Thrills in Trooper Brook. Yep. Huh. There was nothing else up in the corners. I don't think. There is definitely something here that is very, very obvious that I am completely missing. And I'm inclined to go Google it. Because this is... This is confusing. Hmm, Trooper Brook. Well, I suppose they didn't design a giant door with five locks on it to be easily solvable, you know? That makes sense. Can we take a look at the hmm. graffito again? My god, what a sexy costume. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and now that you bring that up, here's the full thing. Animate it for me. Oh, this is actually really cool. I was having, I was meaning for an excuse to show off the costume. Doesn't it look beautiful? It's got a cool robe and everything. Oh, this thing's totally crooked. Animate it for me. And I got these rings to match. Um, I'm supposed to be like, I guess, like, acting like Claude Frollo, but to be perfectly honest, I don't want to be racist against the Romani people on stream just for views, so. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just stick with my, your regularly, uh, uh, your regularly scheduled Cameron, and, um, we're try gonna try not to step on any racial toes around here. Although, we're getting a little close. They, these guys are making a lot of, like, references to, like, proto-Germans and stuff like that, and although I don't know what that means, I feel like they were in, an indigenous people, you know? Again, Probably. five lines. Extremely beautiful. I like the look even without degrading the Romani. Yeah, that's the thing, you know, when you degrade the Romanis, you kind of make the costume less beautiful because, it's like, you know, can you... Can you like the art and hate the artist? Or can you like the artist but hate the art? I think I can definitely hate the art and like the artist. I can definitely do that. I find very many songs like that. Did you actually repel that frost? Yes, of course you repelled down. I need... I have all five lights on once more. What could it mean? Perhaps I have to talk to Gretchen first. 
In the meantime, I'm going to look up this puzzle because I'm having a what very hard time. Who? No, I don't know. I'm still I don't know what I think. And why? I don't know what I think. The Truberbrook Trubr Cave Puzzle. That is like the one of the first things that pop up. What do you do? Almana Discussioner. That must be a trick. And... I've been okay. loving the game so far, but I got stuck at the cave puzzle with the wall inscription. Since they all have the same meaning, the answer should be none at all. Oh, Gretchen said it's impossible to tell from what time periods. Early insofar as the order probably messed it up, but that doesn't necessarily correspond to the time at which you should actually place the symbol. Same here. Squirt, squirmle? Never mind. We got it. We got it. You are close. We got it. We're close. I'm really stuck. I've tried at least 20 different combinations and no dice. If I just keep clicking the button, does it work? If I just keep clicking it? Over and over again. What if I just... I just keep on doing it. They all have the same meaning. And... Maybe I just need to scan the same one five times. And... Again. Perchance? Perchance that's what it is? Just scan the same one over and over again? Inscriptions again? I don't know. If I just... If I just do it five times. I'm gonna try that. I'm just gonna click it five times. No, no, no. Go, don't, don't go away. Don't go away. Please Keep show going. Me the Latin inscriptions again. Please do it again and do it with brevity, so that we move may move through this quickly. There is definitely something so super simple here that I am missing, but I don't feel too bad about it because I feel like I'm not the only. I'm definitely not the only person who is dense enough Please not to realize what's going on. Again. Yeah, maybe I just need to scan the same one five times. I kind of like that idea. Maybe that's what it's all about. Please show me the Latin inscription. Perchance that's again. what it's all about. I will try that. And then I guess we'll come up with something else. Okay. And now, and again, now. five lights. Again, five lights. Yes. So now I click it. Uh, boop. Button. Five times. Same one. No. And again. Hmm. I figured it out. You're on the right track with the assumption that what? What's the assumption? I also assumed that was- There's a bunch of spoilers here! I don't want to click on the spoilers! Can I remember? The greatest lack of this game is no manual save, so you can play a part again because sometimes the information after a dialogue is gone and you can't repeat it and there is no diary. I watched the scene again in a Let's Play video. I can't see any hints. Oh my god. There are many ways to solve the puzzle. It's got to do with the images? It's got to do with the images. It has to do with the images. Okay. I'm not looking any farther at that. I have seen one thing that said, Oh my god, I should have looked at the images. So now I'm going to look closely at the images. Okay. This one... Maybe looks like a one. Or a zero. This one... Wait, where are you? Where are you? Uh, it doesn't really look like anything. Not to me, at least. This one is almost... The dude looks like he's pointing in this direction. Intenta memoriam? Mortem? Or something? Maybe that's a zero. Zero. I don't think that's a number. That kind of looks like a four. That kind of looks like a four. Kind of looks like a four. That kind of looks like a zero. That only has five sides of the hexagon, so maybe that's only f that's number five. Um, and then by process of elimination, if this is oh, well, maybe this is zero. Zero one. That kind of looks like a one. Oh my god. Maybe this is supposed to be a two. I'm gonna give that a try. Okay. Zero. Please show me the Latin inscriptions again. Latin. And then... Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a second. Hold up. Hold up, mate. Wait a minute. Uh... No? Hmm. I'm thinking out I'm thinking internally, I should be thinking out loud. That kind of looked like it was an arrow on the Latin symbol. It kind of- the A looked like it was a Latin symbol. It was like open- uh, going in up direction, the letter A. 
Maybe... Could you show me that ruin thing again? Maybe I'm supposed to, like, follow... Like, connect the dots. Is there a part of this that looks more prominent than the other ones? What goes away last? It looks like the P is kind of going away last. So maybe I... Maybe I go over here. Can we take a look at the graffito again? Graffito? There's kind of... It kind of looks like there's arrows going down this way. All right, so maybe that's not it. Uh... Perchance, perchance not. I might have been completely incorrect about that. Well, kind of looks like there's an arrow pointing in this direction, so I'm going to go down here and then up there. Could you light up the cave paintings for me? Again? I'm also going to go back to the puzzle thing. This is this is insufferable. This puzzle, if you can recall, that is badly designed people, sorry, but is love to know how many people solved it without any help. Not me. I don't think I did it. And then I'm going to do this one. Because <laughs> I'm guessing. Light to the hieroglyphs again. I thought maybe it might have been had to do with the order of like history and stuff, but I'm totally incorrect there. It seemed. Again, five lights. I tried all the possible historical combinations that I could think of. If that doesn't work, okay, that does not work. And again. I feel like I'm really close, though. I feel like I'm really close, so I'm gonna go for it again. I think maybe that was an arrow. That kind of felt like an arrow. What other things look like they might be pointing in a direction? This folks here don't look like they're pointing anywhere, but I am going to click it Could you light up the and see if I see anything else. Again? Is there a part of it that looks like an arrow? There's a bunch of people there. Okay, so they're all going this way, except for this guy. So maybe I do that first, and I go up to the hieroglyphics. The hieroglyphics look like they're pointing Please point the, light to the, the other way. Again. Or perhaps down. They're kind of pointing down. Oh, the light is also moving down that way, so maybe I go to the... Please the show Latin, the Latin next. Again. Maybe I follow the light. Perhaps I didn't notice that the light is moving in the direction that I need to go. No, most definitely not. Could you show me that ruin oh, thing well. again? I think it's pointing upwards. I'm vaguely... Fa I, I think I vaguely have an idea of where the... I feel like I know exactly where these guys point. But I don't know where the other one points. Can we that's confusing to me. Graffito again? This might be the low part of the stream, but that's okay. We're all in costume. Did anybody else dress up for Halloween? This is time for conversation. If anybody dressed up for Halloween, please share. We're open books here. Anna dressed up as Esmeralda. She doesn't know her costume on right now, though. Promising. Oh, wait. Oh. This cave has obviously been visited by Whoa. explorers for millennia. Oh. Isn't it strange that all of them left warnings on the wall? That was promising? Wait. Okay. Okay. Hold on. gigantic vault wanted to make sure that only a human with the, the right, right set, set of knowledge, knowledge could open it. I clicked the button. Maybe long after its architects ceased to exist. I assume this is why they utilized all of these different writings. They literally left the code on the wall. In case of an emergency. Did I get it right? I got it right. Remarkable. Oh, I think I got it right. Oh, that's interesting and oddly, oddly yes. scary. Okay. All right. Well, I'm still interested to know what anybody dressed up as for Halloween. I dressed up as Craw... Craw... <laughs> I dressed up as a Disney judge. I'm not a judge. I thought it was a judge. Okay. Well, whoever I am, I'm basically royalty. Okay. So I think the puzzle is vaguely follow where the things are pointing that or just guess. Let me find the light switch. Was there something else there? It was, it was to the Neolithic to the Egyptian hieroglyphs, to the Latin script, to the Germanic runes, to the graffito, which might, that could be in historical order, to be fair. Although I'm honestly not sure about that. I'm gonna go click a button. It's time to move on. <laughs> that was insufferable, my goodness, wow. I'm glad to know that I can answer the question of, and let me go back and read it, it was. Take a look around. 
The puzzle, if you call it, is very bad design. I'm... Oh, oh somebody's a profile picture. I'm sorry, but is would love to know how people many solve without help. Did you I see solved it without any help at all. We did it with our own ingenuity and the power of my college degrees, which absolutely helped me here. It's times like now where I don't regret going to college whatsoever. This made it all worth it. All right, now what can I click? Anything? I want to touch the computers. I want to electrocute myself. All this modern hardware must have cost a fortune. Modern hardware is not something that I would necessarily agree with. Then again, I live in the 21st century. Remotely this size at my university. And what did you have at your university, Tanhauser? Did you have the little Commodore 64? No purpose they might 65? What do they call those things? I actually have an old computer in my closet that I've never booted up. And, it eventually, and I eventually will. I just don't know what to do with it. But it's like one of those like old... The person I got it from was like, Oh yeah, I walked into a museum one time and I saw my computer there. And I was like, Oh, I've got one of those. And they were like, Oh my God, you could sell that for a lot of money. He's like, No, I'm going to keep it. It's an antique. And then he gave it to me. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Probably boot it up one day. Maybe. Oh, what did I just collect? I definitely collected a thing. I got a bottle of... Bottle of something. Probably nothing at all. Gretchen? My love. Any idea? Any ideas? I wonder who or what's behind all of this. Probably a person. Or it's humanity as a whole attempting to si assign meaning to things that inherently never had any meaning at all. But because of the what fact that we question our own existences and the existence of humanity as a whole, we have to try to make sense of it. That is just one other possibility. A spooky thought. Because it's Halloween. And on Halloween, not only do people TP trees and throw eggs at cars and trick or treat at strangers' houses, but we also get vaguely, we also get morbidly introspective. Spooky, scary skeletons. They send shivers down my spine. Sticks and stones, I think. They rock my bones. Seal my doom this evening. I brought back oh. order to the universe. Um, first of all, Tannhauser, what a very myopic view. You think that the entire universe is a single solar system? You're wrong, sir. That's just wrong. Everybody knows the universe is rapidly expanding, and there is no concept of infinity that we can visualize. So... I stumbled upon an impressive model of our solar system, yet curiously, it displays our nine planets in disorder, as if there was a disturbance, disturbance. in the interstellar balance. A disturbance of the interstellar Much balance. like an event known to the ancient Greeks as ekpyrosis. Okay. The catastrophic imbalance of the universe. What if the Whether this universe is a foreshadowing of things to come, or the device is simply broken, I cannot say. Well, let's see. It's got honest, the order of... It's hard to say if it means anything at all. Well, I see Earth, and then I see what looks to be Venus and Mercury. That seems right. Uh, I don't know what the orders after that are. I'm guessing that's probably Mars floating around there, maybe? That seems right to me. I don't know what the other order is. Anything beyond that. I'm like a, I'm like a spacey kind of guy, but for some reason I have a very limited be, um, knowledge of our solar system. I cannot remember the order. I think it goes then... Is it Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune? Maybe. Do I see Jupiter there? I don't think I see Jupiter. I see Pluto way out here. That's probably Neptune or Uranus. Saturn. I don't think I see Jupiter. Oh, oh, I think Jupiter is supposed to be the model. That makes sense now. Hey, button in the corner. Go get him, Tannhauser. You got it. Speedwalk. You got it. Click button. Of course. The door is blocked. Oh, of course. There is another puzzle here, I see. Go get him, buddy. Tannhauser looks kind of like Jimmy Neutron's dad. Well, you see here, Jimbo. Jimbo. I used it to be an adventurer to be like you until I took an arrow to the knee in Germany back in 1967. <laughs> That's when I grew my duck habit. I started carving them because I don't want to think about what I experienced back there in those caverns. Jimbo, there was a woman, Gretchen, not your mother. I loved her. I loved her very much. But she had a she had a, non, a hunger for knowledge, not the hunger for flesh, like I did, Jimbo. Naturally. What else am I missing? <laughs> what else am I missing here? I can record my observations about the universe unless I already did that, which I might have done. Run, buddy. Run, Tanhoser. I've already made an entry. You're right. I definitely have. No, you're, you're right. You're right. I have. You're absolutely right. <laughs> oh my goodness. 
that emote looks like a looks like a nice one. Just because of that, I'm gonna put on glasses. Actually, this is supposed to light up. Where's the button for these things? There is no batteries in this. Oh, wait a minute. Oh yeah. Oh, happy Halloween. Oh, epso wait, epilepsy warning. Happy Halloween, everybody. It's party time, baby. Nice, nice emote there, pal. Where'd you get it? Ha ha! Ha ha! Ha! Oh. Oh no, I dropped it. Luckily for you, my parents gave me two. Ha ha! Ha ha! Ha ha! Ha ha! This is what true regality is. Nobody can stop me now. What a way to play a video game. All I can barely see this thing. Strange on. gadgetry. I like strange gadgetry. Gretchen, what are your thoughts on the strange gadgetry? I wonder who or what. Yeah, you said that already. Okay, what about these computers? Maybe I have to touch the computers in a particular order. Touch button. No idea what purpose they might serve. Okay, how about this one? We didn't even have anything remotely this okay, size. Okay, you said that already. What if I look back out the window again? To be fair, I wasn't really paying full or close attention the first time. What an enormous compound. I'll show you an enormous compound. Hey, you got him. Dab. Dab on Halloween. Dabbing on Halloween is good. It gets out the, the, the hormones or something. It brings up the happy. Serotonin me, baby. It seems to be defective. You're defective. Just like Jippo's mom. All right, so clicking this button didn't do anything. All right. Of course. What else didn't I do? Did I not observe the solar system enough? back order to the universe. Okay, good for you, bud. Am I, am I missing something? Is there something that I have not yet clicked? I already made the entry. Oh, I didn't click the table, did I? No, I, I definitely did. Oh, the circuitry's on the table again. I, I thought I already touched that. Go get them. Click it. Click it. Oh, I thought I, thought I took that already. I guess I was wrong. All right, now I'm gonna go fix the machines. Not that one. Not that one. Not that one. How about that one? How about the one back there? No. How about this one? Okay. It appears that I cannot use it on any of them. Oh my god, these glasses hurt. I should probably no collect the other ones that are on the ground. Serve. Hello. Oh, where the? Ah! Oh, I'm falling back in my chair. Can't find them. I probably can't see them because I'm being blocked by my current glasses. Hello? Oh, there they are. Oh, All I hope I didn't break them. Strange gadgetry. Oh, there we go. I got them. I have both now. And they both work great. We're going to save those for another occasion. It was so funny. I was talking to both of my parents because I saw them yesterday. And they were like, we think that you would be able to get some. We've, we've got these sunglasses and we thought of you in your streams. And I was like, so kind of you guys. That was so, it was so kind. I was like, man, I gotta figure out how to use these um, Wanda and Cosmo shades. Seems to be defective. All right. Somebody's gotta know something about Maybe. Ram sticks. I wonder who. Yeah, I feel that. Maybe this machine. Powder with the knowledge of random access memory. I will move on. All this modern hardware must have cost a fortune. Yeah, and this single 16 kilobyte Ram stick must have been like half of my salary. Have anything oh, this size at my university. Okay, you. Can I use things together? I know there's an inventory. Can't do that. Cannot do that. Ram stick. Ram in the stick. There are no other things to press. I did that button already. Tanaster, get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Yeah. There's nothing in the corners. Oh, there's a piece of paper on the floor. Okay, go get him, buddy. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. Shuffle and read the newspaper. Ah, uh, yes. Trooper, trooper, trooper Book Tribune. Real estate. I cannot read that. Okay, that's fine. I wanted to. Innkeeper Truder will not be spared anything this year. After the key to the cellar of our guest house, Wander Valderlust already went missing last week, we reported. Trudin now again is in lack of something. Her brother Heinz, the well-known happy-go-lucky, has been missing for some time now. According to his sister, he left the house at night to wash down... Wash? To wash. Down the sunset with a sip of Bottenhauser... Bottenschuze? 
but never returned. Although this has happened several times before, Truda is seriously worried this time. I have a very strange gut feeling, but that could also be the pig's knuckle with sauerkraut last night. You know the drill. If you meet Heinz, please take him home. P.S. Piss. Piss. Foreigner wins at double cough. Repeatedly, an unknown player wins the jackpot at the big summer tournament of the local double cough club. Rota Ho Hock Knight. Um, Evi. The prize money of 9,851 Deutschmarks is again generously provided to the club, by the club. While the tournament continues to enjoy great popularity in Truberbrook and the surrounding areas, some participants have already expressed their frustrations that it's always the same player who wins over and over again, signed by Piss, just like the last one. Rust instead of armor, Truberbrook, the restoration of our beloved landmark, the armor of Margrave Hilarious, the unready, founder of our beautiful town, is already ten years past. Just in time for the end of the season, the village embellishment club will be handing over the armor to the metal restorer so that it flashes and blinks again for the 998th anniversary celebration. Signed by, yet again, you guessed it, Piss. An almost up-to-date depiction of Heinz. This is Heinz. Not our buddy Hans. Not to be confused with. Uh, well, I guess there's other things to be clicked on, for chance. Oh, I should probably try the door. There's supposed to be, when you click the space bar, it should show like areas of interest, but I don't see that as an area of interest. So I started to doubt the red X's. Memory overflow. Oh, here's some, here's some more memory. Hello? Hello. Anybody there? Of course. It's a speaker. Another locked door. Dude, it's a speaker. Do you not know what a speaker is? Error memory overflow. I can put the memory there. Of course. There. Wait, wait, wait. How about... How about here? Perchance, I give more memory? Of course. Do you have tinier candles? Oh, uh, we may have birthday candles. Oh, it doesn't fit? Oh. We have some up on the on the, the windowsill. No, those are... No, they're too small? They don't have they're those. too big? Oh, no. Anna's carving a pumpkin and trying to put a- Oh, you can use my ice cubes! I already tried that. Uh, oh, really? It's not right. Oh. It's not oh, I see. What did you make? Made Esmeralda. Wanna see- Wanna show it on stream? Take a look at Anna's pumpkin! She carved it. It's got- It's Esmeralda! Oh, this is Esmeralda! This is my Romani woman! Wait! Oh, no, bring her back! <laughs> I lust for the gypsy woman. Claude, you can't say that. It's 2022, man. You can't say gypsy, gypsy woman. What do you mean I can't? Hellfire! Oh my god. I almost lost my head. Hellfire. The fire. This fire in my skin. My burning desire is turning me to sin. Anyway, it seems you know. to be defective. Yeah, you're defective. I know it's got to do with the memory thing. I have memory. I have a ram stick in my back pocket, or I'm just happy to see you. It's one of the two things. Okay, come on. I there must be a place to insert the ram. Oh, maybe. Okay, hold on. Maybe I go to the computers now. Oh, look, there's a box here. There we go. Now I can click on this box. Move closer. There we go. I'll ram this stick in this box. Oh, that looks like a microwave oven. Bytes of main memory on isolinear chips. Good lord. Good lord. Gretchen, this is the future. Seems you have a ram. Sixty-four mark kilobytes is. Intruder <laughs> alert! Intruder alert! No, there's no intruder. Please identify yourself. I'm Heinz. I'm Hans. You can call me Tannhauser, Hans, but if I don't identify myself, I can't even see you. Who's talking there? You can call me. My name is Tannhauser. My name is Tannhauser. Hans Tannhauser. Yeah, that's I me. I do not recognize you, Hans. Oh, you're a super Why does it matter? I am only allowed to grant access to authorized personnel. I am authorized. I am Hans, and I, de I, I defragmented your memory. I am Hans, and I defragmented your memory. I do not recognize you, Hans. That's okay. I am only allowed to grant access to authorized personnel. Well, what if I insert this isn't myself? This is going anywhere, Tannhauser. We need brute force. I have to hack the mainframe! Right? Hack the mainframe? That's what we gotta do. Right? Hack the mainframe? Uh, hack the mainframe? Hack the... Hack the... 
Back to the main. Maybe I click this button now. Now that it's back online. Come on, buddy. Go get him. Get him. Nope. Of course. Of course the door is blocked. Uh, maybe I go to the thing. Maybe if I walk into your doorway, I, you can scan me and then recognize me. Then we'll know each other in the biblical sense. You can call me Hans. What if I don't want to identify my... I, I can't even I can't see, you. see you. Who's talking there? It's a robot. Oh my god! Holy smacks! Barbarossa 2000. I am the guardian of the station. Can't you just open this door for me? Yeah. Can't you just do that? Oh my god, look at that. Possible. Nope. This isn't going anywhere, Tannhauser. We need brute force. Okay, well now I can talk to the computer. So that's pretty cool. Hello, Barbarossa 2000. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is... Just 2000. No, you may call me 1984. For whatever reason. What kind of station? How long have you been down here? How long have you been here? Many years? 16 years, 304 days, and 9 hours. Okay, I didn't need the sarcastic remark there, Barbarossa. Who constructed you? I was developed and built by a Dr. Von Strack and Dr. Rumler. Okay, that's cool. I am property of the Millennium Cooperative. I believe this is not the first time that we've heard of the Millennium Cooperative, which sounds actually quite daunting. It's me, Dr. Von... <laughs> it's me, I'm Dr. Von Streck. It's me, Dr. Von Streck. Negative. Your voice patterns don't match Dr. Von Streck's. Okay, so I'm telling pattern. you, these things are of no use at all. I can always try to lie. What kind of station what is kind this? station is this? This station was built by the Millennium Cooperative. I believe you've already answered that question. You've provided that answer already. this information to authorized individuals. But I am an authorized individual, you know what I'm saying? So how do I become authorized? How do I become authorized? Huh, loading. Not possible. Oh, okay. I cannot authorize you since I do not know you. Well, how about we sit here and get to know each other? Hi there, my name is Cameron. I spell my name with an X, not legally, but, but just because I want to. Aren't you feeling kind of lonely, lonely down here? Well, yes, I think I am. I started here? talking to somebody about Our it. What patient, about you, Barbarossa? My patient? Me I would consider myself to be a patient person as well. Shut down. Okay. Let's hope that they were being honest. To be honest, I don't think they'll ever return. I don't think honest, they're coming back. I don't think they'll ever come back. I'm gonna talk a computer out of loneliness. Dr. Rumler promised me we would start working again very soon. Dr. Rumler is dead. Dr. Rumler is my friend. Why would he lie to me? Why would a computer have any idea what friendship is? We're not. <laughs> this is the future! Robots with feelings. People, People lie sometimes. sometimes. This is true. People lie. Like Dr. Rumler. Your point is illogical. If what you said was true, how could I rely on statements? made by humans. I am a human. It is perfectly logical. The yes, sentence is false. It is perfectly logical. But you disagree. Overheating in segment B23 imminent. Oh, incredible. Can't think? Oh, oh lord. Well, how about we put it out? I need you to work for me. <coughs> smoking. <laughs> Shouldn't be smoking in here. It's 19, 19 whatever, you know? I got it, don't worry. That hit the spot. I don't like the way that computer just... I don't know what the term is, but it vocalized, and I don't know if I like that. That may have hit the spot for you, but that most definitely hit the wrong spot for me. Any chance you might consider letting me through? Yeah, I kind of just I voided your vent. I can only grant access to authorized personnel. <sighs> you may wait here. Gretchen, you calm yourself. I would most certainly enjoy your company, yet I may only allow passage to subjects of acquaintance. We're... <laughs> That's what I get for helping you? But you do know me. But you do know me. My name is Ten yes, You are Hans. This is true. You Imagine know. Imagine the possibility of Dr. Romler never coming back, and I'd be your only friend. This is logic. We're I'll talking with friend, a robot. Hans. Of course. Your best and only true friend. Alright, that feels like a lie. That you that's a lie. Be happy. Uh oh. you two are adorable. Get a room. Yo, Gretchen, now actually you know me, fuck off, Gretchen. Would you please Get let here. me through? We're having a moment. Man and computer are combining in a beautiful, beautiful I union, and remember. all you want to do is solve the puzzle, Gretchen? Will Jeez, come, come on. And pay me a visit? I would love to come back Scouts and pay you. Scout's honor. Scout's honor. And I am not a scout. I also lie, because I am human. This is honesty. Welcome Excess to the human race. Granted. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Thanks, computer. <laughs> How do you feel about that, Gretchen?
Come follow the boy scout into the building. It's the Saturn portal. Oh my god, is that the dude? Oh, that's the dude. Hey, bro. Hey, are you the guy? You have no idea, do you? Uh, what no. do you mean? Is that a portal to Saturn? Quantum physicist, ridiculous. What? Is, is that a gun? What the hell? Get off of that boy. Oh, I can see no reason for violence here. Get hey, off of that hey, boy. Hey. Is that really Who's boy? Necessary? You too, Bambi. Move over there. Are you serious? After everything we've been through? I've been You're bamboozled. Stand in my way. You've had your chance, Tenhauser, but you had to follow me around like a puppy dog. Uh, yeah, because I was curious, get. like puppies what notoriously are. Idea to come here? Shut your pie hole. Or maybe that's cats. Please, you don't understand. I need help. Yeah, you what do. There's a sanitarium up the river. Huh? Are you? A bunch of hapless maggots. That's what you are. Standing in front of the Saturn portal without any clue. Uh, you kind of sound like you need to be in the sanitarium, uh, Gretchen. Tannhauser and Taft are now in the same boat. Nice. And Gretchen's a little bit of a bitch. Now, granted, she may be Your acting like one, chance. but she may have a perfectly logical well agenda. Well and that is okay. While you're at it. it's been getting on my nerves from the but now she's putting not only two humans, but a perfectly... No. Oh! A perfectly dead robot at risk. And hurting their feelings. <laughs> you're not the only one who can laugh maniacally, Gretchen. <laughs> <laughs> Last conference, others are not. Yes, that's how it is. Are you a psychologist, Taft? I still can't believe Gretchen would play such a wicked game on oh, me. Oh, the music changed slightly. Oh, this is not what I wanted either. Who are you? And what are you doing here anyway? Hey, that was you last night in my room. Calm down, calm down, please. You must have a lot of questions. You bet I do. Oh, you were the glowing guy, weren't you? We should try to get out of I knew there was like a ghostly fella. I assume you have a plan on how to open the door. Perchance. You seem to know what you're doing. But Saturn portal? <laughs> Tell you me more. The Saturn portal? What was she talking and about? And how did I speak these it's two double reservoir. carrots? Actually, it's just an ordinary quantum portal. Oh, naturally. You can travel to different realities, distant stars galaxies like that the one right. where that's what the universe looks like who are you who are you anyway i'm a quantum my name traveler is lazarus tough lazarus I hope you'll excuse my late introduction you came back from the dead i'm a traveler if you will you stole my notes you stole my uh, notes nice to meet you mr taft tanhauser i tip my hat to you let's talk about oh, stealing my notes yes that was me Believe me, I wouldn't have needed to if everything had gone according to my plan. My great master plan of help, dying and coming surprise. back to life. I know taking your journal wasn't right, and I'm sorry about it. But? I would have returned it, I promise. Mm, people lie. I literally just taught the robot that. Where are you from? And where are you from? <laughs> from the other side? See, and I know that's kind of a lot of information, but... Yes. I've been stranded here for some time now. I desperately need to leave. Get back home. Where is home? Please don't get me wrong. I really like it here, but I need to go. If I don't, I will die. Simple as that. But like, what is death you if you came from a land of death? Assuming that you that came from the afterlife, that is. My arrangement to get you here. Oh. Oh, that. I just noticed that Earth definitely has like a face on it. That's kind of creepy. Interesting. Uh, wait. What? Wait, what? Yeah. The problem is that you can't control the portal unless you have the right piece of technology. At home, we have a device called a quantum discriminator. Okay. You can buy it at any convenience store, but I certainly don't know how to build one myself. Okay, but like, what so does Tannhauser have? Formula, the calculations to tune in. I have to tune into the right frequency in order to get myself home. the whole planet if you aren't careful, which is what she's doing. She's going to display the planet if she doesn't get it to exactly the correct microfarad capacitance. Um, but like, what do you want what my journal? What was it you wanted for my journal? They're really just notes. And a few doodles. I needed it to tune into the right quantum frequency. Interesting. See, I'm just an ordinary traveler. I know next to nothing about quantum mechanics. However, I do At know that your doodles and off the, on the napkin calculations, back of the nap envelope calculations are exactly what I need for quantum... Travel. Okay, okay. Tell me more. What's my role in all of this? I needed your help. You were the last piece of the puzzle. 
It was wild. When I saw your article in Science Today, I was 100% sure you were the right guy for me <gasps> to help me get home. We're gonna be together, and then we're gonna bring the robot back to life and make sweet, sweet science together. Who Good put the portal? Lord. So all of this is real? Do you know who built the portal? This station was built by the Millennium Cooperative. Okay. I believe something went wrong when I came out of the portal. They took me with them and abandoned the station soon afterwards. That's kind of wild, but dude. But they certainly didn't construct the portal. But who who did? did then? Who knows? The aliens! Probably a natural phenomenon? Probably. A geological vortex? A high-intensity region? A cosmic G-spot? <laughs> Everyone knows this doesn't station. exist! JK. There's a large network, like wormholes connecting different dimensions. Enough talk. Let's move. The universes are like this, bro. But enough talking about quantum science and stuff. Let's go to chapter four. Transdimensional homesick blues. Want to go home? Boring. This is getting boring. We are da, 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 da. puppets on a string. We're all puppets Mr. on a string, Mr. Tenhauser. Somebody say something else. Any more lyrics? Keep running, Tanny. Keep on a going. Keep walking around here on my own now. Na 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 na. And the drown is kind of moist. Da, na 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 na. Neon lights out in the distance with this dude on a stethoscope and whatnot. Da 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 na na. You talk to the guy. You what does he have to nothing say? Nothing but a pawn in my new narrative. That's actually kind of rude of you. I didn't quite appreciate that. Da na 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 na. Hey, check out that hexagon in the background. I'm guessing it's a hexagon. We've seen Did a few we of those so far. Just step out of a phone booth. We did. Wait, there is another way? I don't have to answer that. <laughs> What's it like on the other side? <laughs> I don't have to answer any of your Different. questions. Hard to describe. Just try. Oh, yeah, look, there's an accent on up there. The transition, I, I just noticed that. Hands, we have no time for that right now. But wait, but I want to look at the... Uh, um, please, I need to know. Tell me. Please, I need to know. Well, you can imagine it as a rift. A junction in space. Imagine like a rift. Your mind enters a stage of near transcendence. There are no thoughts, no words, no sounds or visions, no sense of self. And suddenly, bam, you see a myriad of possibilities exploding. Right it's like getting really, really high. <laughs> Please elaborate. How can I experience this for myself? Can you elaborate? I'm not an expert, but... But I think you well, need to get some I think shrooms. it's coming from the neural network making up your consciousness. It temporarily it's machine learning. during the experience and then suddenly reintegrates. The Integration, world, differentiation, outlines, it's calculus. It's somewhat twisted, warped. You may feel some sort of tranquility. Hmm. Hum. Oh, interesting. That Not was the tranquility. Of it. Yes. There's a certain peaceful quality to it. And a deep realization of cosmic quality when you see yourself reflected in the universe. It is an extraordinarily distinctive sensation. You have to try it sometime. Like, say, an insubstantial. I kind of like the sound blackness, of it. It actually sounds very pleasant. Somewhat energetic, astronomical, the void. The void! Exactly. How do you know that? I don't. Just guessing. I think I've seen it. Listen. There was a mushroom I ate I one time, and I definitely saw what I would consider to be something very void you and beautiful. Are different. Please help me. Help me to get home. And help your people by stopping that woman. Oh, yo, 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 man. We can't make it about the woman. We make it about the agenda that she is trying to pursue. We're all about Everything fighting conflict, collapse. not people. Just look. We need to stop her. But how? She's insane. Well, I mean, we need to come insane, up but I feel like the insane one about 20 somehow. minutes ago. I don't want to be here at all. Yet here you are. Sorry. I love the I reluctant protagonist trope. Rest. That's a good one. We could go I don't want to be the main character, Dad. Would actually be awesome. Well, son, you have to be. Um, if that's cool with you. Quantum discrimination Follow and whatnot. Me. Fighting against the quantum agenda. Prepare for their mission. We're going to outer space, or perhaps inner space. Okay. Feels adjacent I went in over some your way. Plans. And I think I get the idea. Okay. It's pretty mind-boggling, but it could work. Oh, you're we leaking. Improvise again. here and there. I found some scrap metal to roughly model a frame for the device. Okay. Um, Let's get it started then. 
<laughs> it looks I'm like a keytar. There are a few integral components that need to be swapped in, though. Okay. Okay. What are we looking for? Um. First, the soul of a virgin. Of that's part one. A um, hair of a dog. Source. That's part two. Second, a particle accelerator. Also a that's particle accelerator. A tough nut to crack. Yeah, that Third, that nut must be cracked. Coolant. The whole thing could blow up otherwise. Blowing up the Number nut. Four. Yep. Yep. Last but not least, an interface to control the device. Interface Any like the fabric. Will do. Or the cell phone. Okay. How do we begin? Kind of like when people take the, the cell phones, they really click matter. the button and a bomb goes well, off somewhere. Kind of like that, except we're busting the, the nut from a distance. With the click of a button. Just bring them over. I'm sure I can patch them together somehow. All right, I'll Let's do it. this. You certainly have a lot more competency than Thank I do chance. over in your quantum realm. I'd already be dead if it wasn't for you. <laughs> oh, you. It wasn't that bad. No, you are awesome. I just wanted you to know that I'm eternally grateful to have met you. All things considered, dying may not be as bad as well, I thought. Was it oddly heartfelt? Don't you say that. Don't say it. Even if don't I don't you make say it, it, you need to stop. Don't you say it, Tap. I'm beginning my search right now. <laughs> don't you do it. <laughs> I'm gonna go for keep my search now. The fuck? Tap dies? <laughs> I'm supposed to be moving my character. I definitely caught on to that. Um, let me touch your goo one last time, Tap. What's that gooey stuff? Is that your blood? Oh, my body is disintegrating. Oh, that's cool. What do you mean? Oh, get it? Integration, it reintegration, disintegration. When staying in another dimension for too long. It's just a natural occurrence. Does it hurt? Yes. <laughs> Does it hurt when you when you start disintegrating because your ties to this particular plane of Gasoline existence powder. are being torn apart? Oh, what about this? It's an excerpt of the Tonklin Diary. I don't know what a Tonklin is. Or maybe I just forgot. Interphasic coil spanner. Quantum flux regulator. ODN recoupler. Scissors. Yeah, that seems about right. I, I would have guessed miniature particle accelerator, but you know. Is a it a couple gun? of self-sealing stem bolts. Okay, that's that's cool. Uh, bottles a of what? collection of hydrinos. Hid hid hydrinos. Coil. Coil device. A cosmic slipstream capacitator. That doesn't like capacitator. All right. That's a prototype of the Valentine, a gift from a friend. It looks like a funky cell phone or one of those keyboards that you give to children that say the like the letter that you press. One, two, an G. Interference oscillator. Space bar. That's what it reminds me of. An empty jar. I, empty jars come in handy. I've played a lot of Zelda in my life. I'm gonna take this. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That thing looks like a happy That's face. That's the toolbox I've borrowed from Truda. Thanks, Truda. I appreciate you for giving me the tr the uh, box. Hey, look at this. All the guests. Um, where am I on the list? Guest times. Oh my God, there's so many of them. Oh, maybe these are supporters. Maybe they're like Patreon supporters or something. That's kind of cute. Could be. Burn marks. Die lange Abend haben wir nicht gefunden, aber die Seeluft, Seeluft und der Helgoländer Hummer waren gemt, ausgezeichnet. Herzlichen Dank. You're welcome. <laughs> Sorry about the mess. You're welcome. What else is here that I can read in German? What a pleasant stay. I feel like I should write a mystery novel now. Yeah. No, I dig. I dig that. Einfach toll. Es fällt mir nie. Es fällt mir. Ein Geschäft für Farbenfernseher und Radios im Ort. Danke für die Gelegen Gelegenheit, das seltene Trubelbrock Eichhornen Hakorten zu fotografieren. I think that means it's a beautiful place to take photos. Oh, and I saw Townhauser. Wait, I saw Townhauser. I didn't read what it said though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hunts. Ooh, Townhauser. Nice. All right, uh, what else to click on? Uh, this thing. Is that the, is that the new rule? Quantum discriminator. Ah, uh, that's a lot of German. Oh, I guess I, oh. I guess those are the parts I need. One of them kind of looks like a bookshelf. Oh, this is the, oh, this thing looks like the quantum discriminator, I see. That's the thing that was spinning, right? It's the orgone collector. I love orgones. I don't even know where to begin. That's don't okay. Worry. You know it in theory. It, <laughs> now. The quantum discriminator emits a coherent tetrian beam into the portal. Okay. Projecting a metaphasing projectory matrix. Precisely. That's then exactly the what I was thinking. Then the projected tachyon pulses allow us to modulate the frequency in such a fashion that... 
that the portal synchronizes with the exact temporal quantum coordinates. A rift in space-time. Yeah, that, that exactly. feels like a gross underestimation of what's going on, but all right. I thought you'd like it. <laughs> You're my guy, Tan Hauser. You're my guy. We said it to you earlier. We were meant to be like quantum discriminators and peanut butter. Held together by like tachyons or something. Hey, Truda, please don't mind the person who is disintegrating upstairs. If that's cool. I wanted you. to return your fishing rod. Ego. Good. Did you get a bite? No. Kind of. Well, there is a lot going on in this lake. I can tell you, Professor. I don't want to really Just know. Just the other day, I caught a red herring this big. You didn't move your hands so, at all. Let me take a look for your pawned item. Ah, there you are. Here's your it's whistle. Whistle? 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 Well, yes, your whistle. This is not my whistle. Not your whistle? Uh -oh. Of course this is your whistle. Your whistle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure I'd recognize this whistle. <laughs> so funny. my whistle, I left you something completely different. Right. Mm -hmm. What was it then? I don't remember. A massage rod? <laughs> my massage rod. I do remember giving this woman a vibrating rod. My... Uh... Massage rod. Massage what? rod. I don't have no massage rod in here. Did you Can lose I it, said, Truda? Here is your whistle, Mr. Tenhauser. Um, hmm. thanks. <laughs> Worth a shot. <laughs> what else may I click on? What, what am I supposed to be finding? I, I don't know. I need other parts of the doohickey me jigger. Open door. Locked. Locked, of course. Um, can I take this TV? My TV There's now. There's a brown tube inside. I could use it for the quantum discriminator. I have to the destroy kid it. will be traumatized for her entire life if I just disassemble her only friend. Yeah. I don't think I can do this. Traumatization is a small price. Hey, how can I convince you to walk away? Hi, Lainey. What's cracking? They are showing the Great Twilight Area Celebration Marathon today. Very nice. 12 Very hours nice. of bliss in a row. Wow. They're 12 hours. They're having the ever so riveting town fair outside. Don't you want to go see Wouldn't it? you like to go out to the real world once in a while? Maybe. Perhaps the real not. world is in there. Can't you see? No, I cannot. But there's ice cream and cotton candy. But there is ice cream and cotton candy waiting outside. And isn't that wonderful? I'll think about it. No, no, you but should definitely now, act I upon it, not just think about it. How about some delicious food? Or this clock that I'm going to now push hmm. under the ground. There's something funny about that clock. Yeah, mostly the fact that the little little pendulum here is existing behind the door but also in front of this small little corner of the clock itself i am confused i am not going to record the food but i may possibly take it yummy i don't want to take this with me if anywhere it belongs in the trash but not this totally seasonal squash soup Mmm, delicious wouldn't you like some soup there young one probably not no i i agree you probably you don't want the soup Nobody wants this soup. The door to town square. Thank you for the description there, Tannhauser. A very astute observation. Now let's please walk through the door. You can use your hands, can't you? Eh? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Alright, now who wants this wonderful soup that I just got? It's mighty, mighty delicious. At least according to maybe one Mr. person. Mr. Tannhauser? Oh, look, there's an Step Aurora right out there. Hello. How do you know my name? How? Oh, it's hey. a small town. That's Penelope fair. Penelope Hades. My sister and I run the boat rental over at the lake. Oh, that's wonderful. How much for a ticket? How much for a ticket? One ticket, 50 Phoenix. How many? But I'm afraid all tickets that? have been sold. Oh, well, that sucks. Bummer. Yeah, well. I'm sorry. That's okay. Uh, are there any prizes? So, are there any prizes? Our first prize is an all-day boat ride on the Trube Lanka. Hmm. But there's no more prizes. The there's no more tickets left, so I guess that's kind of sad. But at this thing, that looks like it could be used like a Tesla coil, maybe. The mere thought of cotton candy makes me shiver. The real thing is just gross. As opposed to the fake stuff. That fake shit totally slaps. Can I have a duck? Out of competition. Oh. It's a shooting gallery for kids. Well, because there's... Because Lenny's inside. The only other child that I've seen. Hey, man. Can you play me some blues? Some quantum Patience. discriminator blues? Just a moment, pal. All right. Okay, I'm waiting. Nah, just kidding. I'm not going to wait. I'm too impatient. I'm gonna go talk to the old guy over there with the fancy little pointy hat. Baron? 
Baron. Mr. Tannhauser, good to see you. It's absolutely great Your to see you, Baron. All mine. Are you enjoying it? Count has the little claws. How's claws doing? The, the cat. He is resting. My loyal claws. That, that was a cat or a dog or something. Have you ever heard the name Lazarus Tuft? Tuft? Yes. A real good for nothing. Somehow I doubt it's that. It's not that I don't like strangers, especially if they come as tourists to my beautiful trouble book. But, but? Uh, I was suspicious of this uh, Mr. Taft uh, right from the beginning. Is it if because his skin me, was literally like disintegrating off him. of his body? Oh, well, I think I already. Well, it's probably okay. I need well, to goodbye, be on my sir. Way. Until... Until next time, Za. Until next time. May I have some bread? I want to take this. Is it for free? I'll have a cone of roasted almonds, please. A cone of roasted almonds right away. How much is there it? There you are, sir. Oh, thanks. Oh, I've got all this food. Maybe I need to, like, feed this to, uh, what's his face? Otherwise, he will literally die. He needs the sustenance. Step right up. Step right up. Wanna put your bronze to the test? No, but I'd like to put my, um, my, my blues to the test. You know what I'm saying? Bronze? Bronze? Huh. <laughs> I'll show you bronze. Whoop how? Kind of suck, dude. Oh, it's all right. Right, all right. That was ooh, not so bad. Just between the two of us, you could use a little dose of vitamins, don't you think? Um, and Always where am I supposed to get vitamins? A healthy body equals a healthy mind. Should I slurp the soup? Do I slurp the soup? Maybe I slurp it from this trophy. A uh, leaden trophy. Like a trophy made out of lead. Oh, I could totally eat one of those. What a great idea. Can I eat my can I eat my nuts? Eat the nuts? Eat my nuts? Anna says no, I cannot eat my nuts. That's very unfortunate. I was really hoping to gobble those tonight. Hmm. Unfortunate. Arr, arr. Beautiful here. Ain't it? You're absolutely right. What's a sailor man doing out here in the sticks? Sailor. Well, I don't like water that much. I'm just so happy to be here with both of my feet on dry land. Yeah, I would consider both but of those things to be those at least functionally typical sailor's clothes you were wearing. So? Yeah. What happened to your leg, sir? Can I comment on that? What happened to your leg? Well, that happened on my second job at the piano transportation company. That would make sense. I the piano really very to graciously took one of your thanks legs. Thanks to the mercy of a roofed instrument manufacturer. You could say you had to pay an arm and a leg for the piano, but he got half and off. And due to a timely taken disability insurance, I now may enjoy a quite decent invalidity pension. That's lovely. Far away from the stormy sea. Far away from That's the stormy nice story. sea. Or is it a sad story? Nobody can I can't decide. decide. That's okay. Um, about the fear of the water. So you Why have a fear afraid? of water? Tell me more. I, Let's dive into that. Philosophobia. The fear of the last. It all it's true. started when I was a little boy mm -hmm. back home on a sweet summer's day. You fell into a puddle and I couldn't swim back in out? I lake when my mm -hmm. uncle Ulf suddenly cannonballed in. And he squished you. I would you. always remember these two massive cheeks rapidly closing in. The details are necessary. To be honest, it's still haunting me today. The two cheeks and whatever I hole lied in between. Terrifying. Especially traumatizing for a young child. Of Later, time. I realized that was the day I developed this terrible, terrible fear of everything deeper than a puddle. Like Uncle Oaf's anus. Deeper than a puddle. Oh. Or the lake that he was swimming in. One of the two. I think I'm needed elsewhere. I'm gonna go this Say. way. Please continue uh, memoiring about your, your Uncle Oaf's between cheek. Between cheek orifice. Something I don't necessarily need to hear about. But I'm glad that we did. What's on the sign? I remember there was a thing back there, but I guess I've kind of done all I can for that. Hansen's ice cream. I used to love it when I was little. Oh, I always liked... What kind of ice cream did I like? Hades. I'm not a big fan of any particular type of ice cream. Souvenirs. I just like, kind of like all likes of Fishing ice cream. Supplies. I'm not big on sweets, though. But I like me a nice vanilla chocolate. Chocolate's wonderful. I've gotten into more rental. cooler flavors one hour, nowadays in my adult age, time. like toffee or cherry i'm really living on the edge now that i'm in my mid-20s it's quite exciting life only gets better i'm gonna use my whistle to harass this tree oh it sounds like a oh, oh sweet crows um y'all want some want some nuts Eat some nuts. 
Easy nuts. Over here, little birdies. Toppins for the birdies. Eat them. And now that you're down here, what can Whoops. I do? I must have overfed them. Oh, that's okay. What did you drop? What's this thing? Is it a ticket? It's a ticket for the raffle. Hey, this ticket for the raffle. Day. I can get a boat ride. That's what I win. That's what I win from the raffle. Can I whistle on the trees again? Where did I get them all already? Yeah, yeah, I must have gotten them all already. Nice. I wonder if I can go back now. Oh, lamppost. Lamppost. Hey, oh. Is flickering unsteadily. Oh, I'm a Typical little unsteady. Case of Typical case of light pollution. It's true. It's light pollution itself that causes lights to flicker because they're yeah, afraid of the bigger light that lies over the horizon. It's kind of like the whole there are always bigger fish in the sea thing, except you're a small little photon the creator. City like a like light a bulb. Thousand miles away. It's a photon eat photon world out there, let me tell you. I don't even know where to go. Um, keep, just, just keep going. Keep going. Keep on running, Tannhauser. And then shuffle back on screen because you don't, you have more work left to do. I'm gonna go get my boot ride. Oh, I can open the thing. What's in the box? Hmm. Locked. Oh, it's still locked. I see. I cannot use any of my tools on them anymore. I think I vaguely recall not opening that the first time and being like, oh. Step hmm. right up. Every ticket's a winner. No blanks. Guaranteed. I'm gonna win something today. Day boat ride on the I wanna go on the Trubelanka. Nice. Um, um. This is my raffle ticket. This is my See, raffle ticket. I found a ticket. Aren't I cool? Oh, look at that. You're a lucky fella. I now stole it off of birds. You. Are you ready? This is your prize. A can of cat food. Cat food works. Generous I can eat that. <laughs> I'm hungry. Advertisers Association. Well, thank you, Trooper oh Book Advertisers Association. Trooper Book well, Advertisers Association. Enjoy. Oh. Thank you. I will most definitely enjoy this gracious, gracious offering. Um, what can I do with cat food? Maybe I can make cotton candy out of it. I can use the whistle on the Mubius Palast. <coughs> Squawk! Here come the birdies! Do they have another ticket for me? For chance. Oh, or, or they're just gonna sit there all scary like. I can go to the, the window, window again. To my room. Yeah. The light's on. You wasteful son of a bitch. Consider all the energy that you're using for poor Trubberbrook. Ah. Squawk! Oh, I can make the birdies move around. All right. Oh! Ah! You broke hey, it. Hey, get lost, you wet blankets. Hey, be nice to them. Oh, maybe I want to... Okay. Oh, I just knocked off the, the, uh, the TV antenna. Now uh, Lani, or Lenny, is going to go outside. Nice. What are you gonna do now, small child? Oh, you're gone. I'm gonna smash your television There's with my bare inside. hands. I could use it for the quantum discriminator. And how do I break it? I can't it? open it without the right tool. Ah, oh, I'm gonna need something bigger, like uh, like like um, I don't know, whatever. Oh, like a like a trophy. I wonder if I eat if I eat the trophy. Or maybe I can convince her that I can get my other things back. I don't need to whistle no more, I don't think. Truda? So, Professor, did you take a look-see around the area? I very much did, and that's very nice. Say so. I, I looked around. You may call off the police. The police? You may call off the police. Uh, how come? I figured out what was going on. <laughs> I, he's my friend now. The burglar has left I got my notes back. I've got my notes back. I'm all but smart again. Is already on his way. Oh, that's fine. Then, then just call him off in person if he's early. Yeah, As that's you okay. wish. Thanks, Truda. Would you mind looking for my real Would deposit? Would you mind looking for my real deposit? I don't need the whistle no Come more. Come again. My massage rod. Your what? I need it. Never mind. <laughs> I'd like to ask you like something. To ask you something. Did you use oh, my yes, massage rod? Does the name Lazarus Taft? Does the name bell? Lazarus Taft ring a bell with you? Taft. Oh yes, indeed. Oh yeah. Doppelkopf player. If you ask oh, Doppelkopf! I remember. I heard the. I heard about the sports sign uh, sign somewhere. To the last penny, shady type. Well, he, he is from another dimension. With him. So. Oh, 
Well, I think I already... Oh, well. You'll have a pretty bad feeling with this guy. He seems like the kind of guy uh, who's going to leave me mind. high and dry, kind of lead me into a relationship thinking that I'm going to get something out of it, and then just be like, nope, see ya! And I'll be like, huh, sad. I'll be leaving then. That's the kind of guy Tap strikes me as. Both Lathorus and the other guy. I don't remember the name of the doctor, dude. That was kind of creepy. That guy was oh so creepy. All right. I think I figured out everything here. I need to find a tool to whack open that television with. And I'm inclined to think that I can find it up near the tram car. There must be something else up there. Maybe a, maybe just a... Okay, or I could potentially convince you to give me your dumbbell. May I have your dumbbell? Nice evening for a walk. Isn't yeah. It? Eerie. Wasn't it pretty cool that I just air. flipped a cigarette out of midair? <sighs> Spruces. Spruces, firs, it's because pines. I met a dude from I another dimension. I was always dimension. bad at telling conifers apart. <sighs> Where spruces prickle, firs just tickle. <sighs> Fur, I know, that's right? Tanner in German, just like my name. Never Tan thought about Hauser. it. Why? What's your name? Tannhauser. We'd pronounce it Tannhauser with an umlaut. Hauser. German roots? Hauser. Yes, my grandpa. My grandpa's from Germany. Flick, I'm gonna cause a forest fire. Dude, you're gonna cause a fire with that cigarette? That would be so funny. Oh my goodness gracious. Just kidding. That would not be very funny at all. Oh, I can see that. I can actually click on the little hexagon that pops up there. I noticed a marking on one of the rocks. A hexagon. It's the logo of the Millennium Cooperative. That feels like a jump, but it seems like a logical jump. I don't think we've denoted that as the logo before. I can record the phone. <laughs> Beverly, log. I have made an astounding discovery. As it turns out, the town's only phone booth leads to some sort of secret passageway. I mean, we probably should have right noticed that, the Millennium you know? Cooperatives Control Center. There's a single tip payphone. There's no reason that it would be there other than the fact that it's a secret entrance to something else. It just makes sense. Hmm. Locked. Hmm. Oh well. Everything's locked. Maybe we should just talk to this chick again. Or maybe take this- Oh, yo, what if I take this telescope? I could definitely break a television with that. I have to insert a coin first. Oh, well, I need a coin. Lady, can you give me money? I'm not going to use this thing again. Oh, okay. Well, miss, can you give me some money? Kind of short on cash. You give it to a pretty guy like me, right? These things on the ground, we call them fur cones. As a matter of fact, though, they're actually spruce cones. Did you know that? What do you mean, <sighs> actually? Well, fur cones come to pieces when they fall off the trees. Spruce cones stay intact. Some things. You have to see them. There's nothing quite like talking to You're a potential lover while smoking on a cigarette. No, just visiting. <laughs> Getting accustomed to it, I guess. Me but it's neither. second best when compared to talking to a potential view. lover while sucking on a Burt's Bee, a stick of Burt's Bees beeswax lip balm. <sighs> Original flavor. <sighs> oh, yes. The smell of love is in the air. And it smells like bees. As all great love stories end with a sting. Like a sting operation. Not not being stung by a bee or a wasp or anything. That would be preposterous. What else can I do out here? What else was I missing? I, I need something... So I need a coin. There should be a competition out here now because I, I sent the kid outside, right? It's out a, of competition. No, no, no. It's a shooting gallery for kids. Well, I definitely just kicked the kid out. So, are they around here somewhere? Maybe I can convince the kid to play a game with me. Shuffle, Tanhauser. You got it. Shuffle along. Um, maybe they went down there. I don't know. Well, could I convince you? Are you a kid um, on the inside? <laughs> you should be able to rob the guitar player. Oh, yo, because when he starts accepting tips and stuff, and I'll steal his money. I That's a I'm good gonna... idea. Hey, you. Um, start your show. Do it. Play me some sweet music so that the generosity of the people of Trooperbrook can be exploited. Temperature. Okay. How about now? Patience. Just a moment, pal. But I don't have any patience. I'm not a doctor. I mean, maybe I am a I doctor. I just need a moment to reach operational temperature. All right, you're lame. Maybe I'll go haggle this old person. From my... Oh, maybe I can get more nuts. 
I think I have enough. Okay, no more nuts for Tannhauser. That's fine. That's okay. okay. Baron? Baron? Mr. Tannhauser. The it is absolutely is good to see you. I saw you at the raffle. I saw you at the raffle, right? That's correct. Did you win anything? I won a pair of hiking boots. Can I have your hiking boots, sir? <sighs> Take a look at me. How am I supposed to wander anywhere? I know, and I got you, on cat the food. Other hand, Mr. Tannhauser, you look like the type to be struck by wanderlust once in a while. I indeed suffer from wanderlust. Oh, I often, I often am. Yeah, yeah, Zovadas. Yeah, yeah, true. Uh, <laughs> do you, do you experience the wanderlust? <laughs> I won this. Yeah. I got Excuse cat food. Me. Is that uh, cat food? Oh, yeah, we're gonna make chance? a trade. Because the Baron has a cat, and I bet the cat gets hungry every once in a while. Uh, you mind <laughs> My cat! He loves cat food! What do you have in mind? Surprising. You leave this delicious can of cat food to Claus and me. It's a deal. Take and, it. Take uh, take the return, cat food. I give you this new pair take it. of hiking boots, size 13. Uh, oh my god, think? we're going to play the paperclip game. Sounds in the like sense that like you trade the paperclip for one deal. thing and then you trade that so thing for another thing and then bam, you've got a mansion. I'm going to trade the cat I'm going to trade the the whistle for ta a raffle ticket. Raffle ticket for cat food. Cat food for boots. Who wants boots? Um, operational temperature. You have no, you have no shoes on. Want some boots? Want some patience? Just. You want to reach operational temperature? Well, they say that most of the heat comes out of your feet. So what if I pop these soles on you? That's also fine, I guess. I use hiking boots for. Who would want hiking boots? Maybe this dude wants hiking boots. Want some hiking boots, bro? They're good for you. You could probably eat them if you want to. Sorry, I get a little riled up when I see people with peg legs. If I may ask, why did you be I asked that well, my mother insisted that it would ah, be you best face for your me fears, to I face see. my fears. So naturally, I became a sailor man. What do you do so with a drunken sailor? What do you do with a drunken sailor? What do you do with a drunken sailor early in the morning? I saw at the I raffle, what'd you win? Raffle, right? Did you win? Arr, just this voucher <laughs> for a boat trip. Man, I hate water. That's perfect, because I have these boots you? for you. A pair of hiking boots. Yeah. But they are too large They're for me. They're pretty big. Um. Oh, yo. I bet each of these people... Ah, uh, okay. Okay, okay. Okay. I think I'm... Were you at the raft? Sir? Sir with the big, big, big brawn? Ma'am, were you at the... Who else was at the raffle? I don't remember who was at the raffle. Can I talk to you? Nope, you, you don't want any nuts. You've already said that. I'm not going to try that game again. Who else was at the raffle? You... There's no more competition, right? Out of comp... It's a sh nope. Just for kitties. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yo, that strong female-looking type at the top looked like that she could probably use some boots. And they say that those boots were made for walking, but those boots could also be used to step all over my back. As I call you mommy. Although, I am taken. So I will pass. Or you can give me that weight. Maybe. <laughs> Back to my smoking. Smoke? No, thanks. I quit. The climate makes me feel a lot better. <sighs> that's for sure. I don't need it. All right. Apparently, you're not interested in these boots. It's a euphemism. Oh, wait. wait I, need a, I need a coin for this thing. Maybe I can sell these boots. Maybe, um, maybe Truda. Perhaps, perhaps she would like these boots. Those boots were not only made for walking, they were made to be used as a bargaining chip for a dildo- I mean, massage rod. That she stole from me. Truda? Truda? I'd like to ask you something. I would- Oh, yes. Um, oh no, that's- that's already taxed the one. Real would deposit? My, yo. Never mind. Massage rod? Would you mind- my, yo. Never mind. Okay. I'll be- Make your- I need the proper tool to open this door, and I don't think it's a pair of boots. Boots? Locked. Locked. And you can tell it's locked because I stuck my hand to the door. Can I break this with There's boots? There's a brown tube. I can't open Nope. How about this clock? One mm. never knows. There is something funny about it. This food is also kind of funny, and I'm not going to use my boot on it. I don't want to take Oh, maybe there's something upstairs that I haven't taken yet. I know I have an empty bottle, which I'm guessing I probably used on... I will check that in a moment. I'm guessing I used the empty bottle on the soup. 
right? No, I still have the empty bottle. Okay. What can I do this for? Can't do that. Uh, were you at the raffle by chance? How are you holding up? Don't worry. You don't look so good. No. Yeah. I get that a lot. You really are from another dimension. Nah, so I don't want to do know about now? this stuff. First, we have to second, third. I know. I know, I know, I know. I must trade something. Something must be traded. Maybe. The music in this room reminds me a lot of FTL, like the video game. And I plan on putting, I plan on streaming that at some point. I put that on my list of games to play because it's just a fun game. Okay, can I, I put anything? Where to go. Don't bring you. Then to the the Kavonitz. All right, I'm gonna go back out. Gonna go back outside. I guess I didn't completely explore the the water area, or perhaps there was something else that I missed. Outside. Oh, is there some? No, no, no. Okay, that's it. I thought that I might have had an option for an item that I could use at the door. Click. Okay. More raffles. Another raffle? Would you like something? Every ticket's a winner. How much for a ticket? How much? Yeah. Bummer. I'm sorry. Oh, but they're all How out. How much yeah. for a I'm, I did, I'll I did be see leaving that already. Then. Okay. That was already done. Maybe I can do something with this thing now? Can I kick it with my boots? The mere thought. Nope. I already talked to you. I talked to that thing. Maybe, maybe I call the birds and I throw the boots at them. Maybe that's what it's all about. I throw the boot at the birds. And maybe they drop something else. Perchance. Nope. It appears that I cannot call the birds anywhere else. Potentially. But if I come over here? Uh, nope. Not gonna go up there. Maybe I call the birds over to the nut stand. There are a bunch of nuts. I could very well use the thing on there. Birdie thing? No. I think Had enough. Had enough nuts for the day, sir? I guess I'll try this thing again. Uh, leaden. Yeah, leaden trophy. Got that. Stop for not missed. Is there a prize? To call yes, in the of home? course there's a prize to be won. I want to whack this thing with my hand again. A whack. Maybe I'm stronger now. Nope. Right, all right. Not I any stronger than before. Not so bad. Just between That's the two right. of us. You could use a little dose of vitamins, don't you think? Well, how am I supposed Always to eat remember, my vitamins? A healthy body equals a healthy mind. I already gave away all my nuts. I got nothing more. Oh, can I give you the boots? Oh, I thought I wasn't able to. I'm gonna give you the boots. No thanks. Mm. What would I do with that? You could put them on your feet, you know? Y you could. I mean, that's always a possibility. All right, I guess I'm gonna go out here. Well, if he don't want the boots, who do? Who do want the boots? Can I knock open this box with it? Chance. Hmm. Nope. It's locked. Oh, I feel a sneeze coming on. Oh, just kidding, it's gone. False alarm. No, no sneezes here. I don't... Can I go out there? Can I go out there? Is there something beyond the horizon? No? Okay. The sign poses nothing for me. Probably can't do anything to that tree. Oh, I kicked it! Oh, nothing happened. Oh, I have... Oh! Look at the fireflies! I can catch the... Okay. I kick the sign and I catch the fireflies. This was a good thing to do. Kick it again. Now, what could I use fireflies for? I can probably light something up, come to think of it. What would I light up, though? Not that sign. What could I use bugs for? There must be a use to bugs. Perhaps I can attract... Maybe... Maybe my lady who quit smoking is into fireflies. Would you fly like fireflies, sir? Nope. Would you like fireflies? Would you like fireflies? 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 Fireflies. No? You would not believe your eyes if 10 billion fireflies just like, just burst out of this jar that I'm holding here. It's a mason jar. It's kind of scary, actually. <laughs> You'd be like, oh my god, look at all the bugs. And, and that's where our conversation would end because then you would leave me. Leave me to go talk about like pine cones or fir cones or whatever. Something cooler than me. Hey, wanna buy this thing off of me? Oh wait, I grabbed my cigarette for no reason. 
Can't open that box. Are you sure you don't like fireflies? So what are you doing up here, all on your own? Fed up with all the hurly-burly down there? Hurly-burly? just like traveling. Always on the road. Oh, hiking. I bet you need some hiking boots. I saw you down at the raffle. All I needed to do raffle. was keep on talking yes, to this lovely, lovely life. lady. Did you win? Just a snuff box. Such a letdown. I freaking hate snuff I've boxes. Off snuff the boxes are stupid. Yeah, you? right? Who needs a snuff I'm box? I'm in possession of a wise. pair of hiking boots. And I can certainly would use a snuff box. Would you trade with me by chance? Oh, absolutely, I would. You hiking boots in exchange for my snuff tobacco. Absolutely. Who wants a snuff tobacco? Uh, Fair yeah. enough. Oh, thank you. Thanks, there, nice. my lad. My lady. Yeah, Thanks so much. Oh, lovely. Nice but Did you even put them on? Oh. I've got to go. Okay. Thanks again. You're so welcome. Finally, I can make off again. I can hear the call of the wild. Farewell. Bye-bye. Are Farewell. you going to leave that weight behind? Because it'd be really cool if you did. Also, I am most definitely causing a little pile of cigarettes down there that is going to burst into flames at some point. Smokey the Bear would not be very proud of my dealings with this woman. But technically, it's by my own choice. So I can't blame the woman. I would never blame the woman. They say that people cause fires. Fires don't cause fires. It's a little political, though, and I understand if you have your own hot take on it, but let's not talk about party biases here. It's okay. Fire is a I'm plasma. Not use this. And that's, that's something I think we can all agree on. But you know what else is fire? My newest mixtape. Check me out on SoundCloud, actually. It goes a little something like... Where's my kazoo? Well, I can't find my kazoo. Wait, I found my kazoo. I'm in a little trooper book. That's the end of the song, actually. It's a memoir, but I'm not quite done writing it. Gotta think of more words. Alright, who could use a cigarette? Sniff box. Sniff, sniff box. Could you use a snuff box? Want to smoke there, pal? Patience, just. Alright. Would you like a snuff box? Are you a smoker there, sailor? Or chance you are. Chance you are. Oh, yeah, I want this tobacco wacky tobacco. About the raffle. Did you oh. win? Arr, just Arr. man. Uh, you I won that. Is that snuff tobacco? <laughs> oh, man. I love snuff tobacco. Like to I was not one? expecting that Would reaction like to to from the sailor, man. Tank. Whoa, you got no, tobacco? No, I love snuff tobacco okay. specifically. <laughs> got I so got excited about tonight. it. That's from the local boat rental. Oh, my yes. God. Do you want it? Oh my god, I want it. Yeah. Are you sure about that? Is it really worth trading for snuff tobacco? Okay. Give it to me. Let's make it so. All right. Now I can smoke yeah. all I want to. Oh man, absorb that sweet Burt's Bees pomegranate. Nice. <laughs> now what do I do with this? Maybe get more nuts? I think I have enough. I still have had enough nuts. That's wonderful. Would you like a boat ticket, sir? I just need a moment. Alrighty then. You probably don't want it. The Baron, I don't think, wants it. Maybe. That woman is gone. I'll go back inside. Maybe Truda wants it. Truda is such a... Just, just such a different kind of woman, you know? Truda? Truda? Hello, prof. Uh, real deposit? Come, Come again? Don't. Massage rod? Never what? Mind. Never mind. I'd like to ask you something. Want to go on a boat trip together? It's romantic. No. Never mind. Alright, well. That's fine. I'll be make your I didn't check out that clock again. Maybe I can use my fireflies on it. No. TV? No. Door? No. Food? Oh, the no. Okay. Alrighty then. What an interesting puzzle game. There was nothing else to touch, right? No. Oh, I didn't touch that thing. I didn't look at it. Hmm. 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 Now you're right. Maybe I can use the fireflies as a like a, an apparatus to... Was that a part of the little apparatus? Does it look like I can use fireflies? Uh, I have no idea. I'm gonna try to put the fireflies on it. Nope. How about... Nope. I don't know touch, what, touch, 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 touch. Is... Touching, touching, touching. Put them in the bottle? No. How about that thing? Nope. That? No. I have been up here so many times now. My goodness. All right, well, that's fine. Maybe that, no. I already touched everything. Can I open my window? They're having a blast out there. Yeah, maybe I should go say hello. Hmm. Wow. Alrighty then. Well, this is mildly confusing, but that's okay. 
Oh, I should. I haven't looked at all the pictures of the wall. I should look at every single one of them. Look at all these beautiful people. Yeah, they're so beautiful. Sven Orstela, aka Sven Q45. Oh, I wonder if these are the contributors. Must be some kind of ancestral gallery. Alex Velero Danda, according to legend, this young and reckless musician translated a copy of the Necronomicon kept at the Goethe Universität Frankfurt am Main into Spanish and intended to write songs based on it. He disappeared soon after, taken by the devil himself, naturally. Sherman Archibald, inventor of the sheet music based programming language Sherman, known to be mastered only by a few experts. I know some C. The C stands for Cameron. Maggie Bu Buchart, co inventor of the revitalizing drink Tespresso, li likes to ride a bicycle without being able to control it. Lives together with her two imaginary shaven cats, Butch Cassidy and Sundance Kids. I don't think you can name a cat that. Seems a little rude. Thilo Walter Finger saved the world thrice, but no one will ever know. What a guy. Lara and Jeff, owner of the much loved coffee house Truberbrook Castle, captain of the local football team, Svig, forward Truberbrook 1887. Love Lovely, lovely. Christian Hundley, runner-up for the second annual pretzel eating contest. He died. Maybe. One will never know. Nobody lived to tell the tale. Back outside we go. Okay, so I have glow bugs in a bottle. I have my good smokes now. Maybe I'll go back up and like just smoke and think about life. Maybe set something on fire. Maybe grow my own tobacco plant. Really, the possibilities are endless here. I'm not going to use this. Maybe thing I'll again. use that thing again if I snuff myself up on tobacco first. I have to insert. Need to insert a coin. Probably can't put it in this box. Maybe. Oh, just kidding. No, I, I take it back. I just kid on that. Just kid. I was I was correct the first time. Can I use the box on it? No. Oh look! I just noticed the stars up there. I can record and talk about the stars. There's like a, it's like a, a meteor shower. That's kind of beautiful. I've already made an entry on this. Oh, okay. That's fine. No, I don't need to hear it again. I thought we were going to talk about like the stars or something that are falling from the sky. That's pretty awesome to be perfectly clear. That is so cool. Man, that is so cool. All right, back down the mountain I go. I guess maybe there's something by the lake. Can I smoke a box? Perchance? I mean, I, I think I just need to talk to people again. There are probably more people I can talk to. Maybe I can smoke the cotton candy. Tobacco, tobacco sugar. The mere thought. Nah. The mere thought of cotton candy is kind of gross. However, apparently, uh, snuff tobacco is fine. It's Shooting gallery for kids. Okay. Can't talk to you no more. Is there anything else that I can touch? I can put the birds back up there. I don't know if that helps me though. I don't know, maybe maybe our boy the Baron is totally into that swacky tobacco. You birds want something out there? I can see my window again. It's the window too. It is the window in my room. You're absolutely right. How could I have been such a fool? Can't walk over there. Continue along this way. How about I talk to you again? Because I really want to hear your music. Seriously, though. Patience. No. I just need... No. Patience. Play me music. All right, fine. I'm going to talk to you, guy. You're making a lot of comments over there, dude. Would you like to play this game? Baron? No. Mr. Tannhauser. No. Good to no. see you. No. The pleasure no. is all mine. Objection. Excuse me. Are you enjoying the festivities, buddy? Are you enjoying the festivities? Yes. Take a look around. Look around All you! It's beautiful. beautiful. It's tranquility. Music. It's culture. It's my Truberbrook. In all its splendor. It's beautiful. And glory. Um, all right, cool. Thanks, I buddy. I need to be on my way. Until, Until next time, buddy. Okay, no more nuts. I think... I okay, but what if I... cone of roasted almonds. Ten fennigs. Did I spend all my fennigs on these things? That's wild. Maybe I need to, like, snuff tobacco first to gain Step my power. Right, Mr. Uh, why not? Why not? Why not? I'll just, I'll do it again. Oh, wait, wait, I don't have the stuff tobacco anymore. I have the boat. Oh, wait a minute. I have the boat ticket. I should go to the, pff, should go to the water. Bet. Bet I need to go to the water. Right, all right. That makes was absolute sense. Not so bad. Maybe just after I go to the water, I'm going to like, like, like do some steroids or something and come back and get like think? super buff. That's Always the logical remember, flow of the story. A healthy body equals a healthy mind. Yeah, shut up, mustachioed man. I'm gonna go do some roids down by the lake. Peace, bro.
Hey, there is there it is. Oh, hi squirrel. Wait, come back. Come on. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna get you. I I am literally physically unable to get you. Okay. That boat looks like it's broken. Oh, that's the title screen of the game. I won this voucher in the raffle. Am I, I know, able to I play? <laughs> How can you know? Yeah, my sister told me. She's hosting the raffle booth tonight. Oh, you do look Who very small, but I don't know if that's wrong of me to say. Okay, so hey, let's do sweetheart. it. Hey, hey, hey. Good evening. Hey, you like boat rides? How much for the swimming animals? How much for the swimming animals? Oh, can I get a floaty? Oh, just pick one. Oh, okay. The season is over, and I have a gut feeling dinosaurs will be out of fashion next year anyway. I mean, next year the world's going to end, so, I mean, it kind of makes sense. Dolphins, unicorns? Dolphins and unicorns. Maybe, yeah. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. maybe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All I'll right. be leaving then. Well, cool. Um, I will take this animal then. This is mine now. What the hell am I supposed to do with this? Maybe I entice the children with it to get them to play the shooting gallery with me. I would not put it past this game. All right, I'm gonna go jump in the water. Peace, guys. It doesn't look all too seaworthy. There's a leak in the bow. Oh. And the paddle wheel seems to be missing. Yo, what if I use the floaty? No? Okay. That That's fine. Um, Can I fix your boat? Can I not fix the boat? And there's a leak in the pad. No, that's not fun. Well, I certainly don't need more. I could call the birds back again, I guess. Why not? I like birds. I love birdies. Bring forth the birdies. Maybe I can have them harass this woman. Birds, attack. Or not. Nope. Oh, I can see Sat- Oh, yo, I can actually see Saturn out there. That's pretty wild. This is definitely not Earth. Fishing supply. That's freaking wild, dude. Yeah, that's pretty freaking wild, dude. Paddle boat rental. One hour. One hour. One Deutschmark. One Deutschmark. I want to go in the boat. Ma'am, I would like the boat. Hey, sweetheart. Good evening. The paddle boat has a leak. About the paddle boat over there. I apparently had to come back it and tell you. It doesn't seem particularly seaworthy. Well. Why? What's wrong with it? It's missing I itself. I think it has a leak. I can fix it. The paddle wheel isn't in good condition either. I can totally fix me. it. Oh my. You see, I'm afraid it's the last of its kind. No, and I really it's wanted to go paddle boating. Up at the dry dock. What Do a way to celebrate Halloween on the I river. Can't really leave my in a foggy, right foggy section of Germany where no one can hear you scream. Yes. I'll have a look at it. I can fix it. <laughs> I can fix that. I will... I'm gonna use it's this little thing. It's much too cold to go for a swim right now. Okay, um, I'm gonna put... I'm gonna put soup on it? Yo, bet the soup is actually glue. Somebody was actually making horse stew, and now it's become glue. Is that how it's gonna work? Is it gonna... It should fix the leak. It's gonna fix the leak! Wow. It's much too cold to go for... Okay. So I fixed the leak, so I'm gonna go back and talk to you and say that I fixed the leak. I'm gonna let you know about my progress first because the game does not automatically recognize it for me. Sorry about the pedal. You were really looking forward to it. I was right? really, really looking forward to it. Uh, yes. To be honest, yeah, I was. Yeah. I'm gonna write you a voucher for a whole weekend during the next season, okay? I'm not gonna be but here. I don't even know if I'll ever return. Goodbye. I'll be leaving then. All right, goodbye. Can't use my swimmy things. All right, so now I don't have the adhesive soup anymore. Uh, so that's kind of, that, that's, I guess, useful. Uh, maybe I can give it, I don't know, maybe I give it to somebody else. I still have the, um, oh, what do I still have? I still have the, the container of glow, Hands glow things. Cream. Yeah, ice cream is good. Maybe I read the sign. I haven't read the, the sign yet. Map. The upper section has been torn off. Uh-oh, what could that possibly Rubber mean? Burn. It must mean it's haunted. There is literally no other option. I'm guessing that box is still not open. I, I can't imagine that I'd be able to use a little floaty animal with it. Oh wait, maybe I give you the floaty animal because you're afraid of the water. Arr. Um. Okay, these are not new what dialogue is, options. That's enough. Okay. This is walk a mile in my shoes. Okay. I think I'm. Maybe I can get the. Do you need a floaty, by chance? Would you like to play the guitar with the assistance of the floaty? Oh, I'm up on the stage. That's pretty cool. I didn't know I could do that. I want this little floaty. I just need a moment. Okay. Can I talk to you again? I cannot. Can I? <laughs> the mere... Th All right. Still can't do the shooting gallery. 
Uh -huh. la, 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 la. Maybe if I put the birds up on this thing and then I go upstairs to my room, I can go look at the birdies and do something about it. What else can I use a floating apparatus for? Maybe that's what Trudeau wants. Maybe Trudeau wants the floaty. She just wants to experience the fun of swimming in the water. Isn't that right, Trudeau? 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 Would you come Real deposit room? massage rod? Oh, like you asked or something? If shape uh, oh, well. Uh, I definitely had to try. I'll make your okay. Um, per Perchance I can play around with these things now? Now that I have this other thing? I'll go swimming in the food. No. Maybe I'll go swimming. Nope. That's not gonna work. That will also not work. I rather confused. I'm just gonna keep on I'm gonna just keep on going back and forth, back and forth, from place to place to place. Would you happen to know anything about inflatable devices? Are you holding up? Don't vote. Um here, I, I should probably go through the dialogue. Not the quantum video. discriminator. Tell yes. me more. I totally lost track. What was it I was looking for again? Yeah, please. Take a look me. at these plants, will you? Okay. We need a power source as strong as possible. Like if lightning this was bugs? my dimension, I'd recommend using one of those handy 90,000 volt batteries. That's, that's, I'm afraid that's, that's not probably not going to be an option. Nope. Oof. That's a lot of juice we're needing. We're going to need a lot of juice. We do need a particle accelerator as well. Has lightning bugs are, um, are particle accelerators. A brown tube, maybe. Okay, From that's From a TV fair. set. Could work. Yep, yep. That's I just fair. had an idea. An interface to control the device. Get creative on that. I could shake a bunch a of uh, buttons, any kind of interface. keyboard buttons, anything like that. I understand. I could use a floating device. And a really potent coolant. It's going to burst if we can't keep the temperature low. We could we could what also use mind? a floating rotation device. Water won't do. Think of something. Something else. Okay. Like I'll be lightning back soon. bugs. Okay. I don't see any more options there. No more options there. Not there. Or 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 there. Uh, a window? No. Still looking at that. Still can't use this thing. Still can't use that thing. Okay. Potent coolant. I don't know, like, a man's tears? That seems pretty potent. Pretty, pretty damn potent to me. What could I be missing? I didn't read the sign. This leads to the room. Of course it leads to the rooms! Um, that sign, I think, I already read. Please ring bell for service. We, we only, only serve small, small pots, pots of coffee outside the restaurant. Oh, do they serve coffee outside? Did I need to read the sign for that to become an option? I'm going to head outside again. For like the 40,000th time and maybe make something of myself. I'm going to go up the hill. You know what? I haven't been up to the hill again in a while. I'll, uh, I'll try that. It's a beautiful night out. I just want to go up there for not a smoke. Um, because I don't have my tobacco anymore. Um, but perhaps I'll go up there to just, like, I don't know, like, use this tubey thing. It's, um, it's plastic, so maybe it'll conduct electricity. I'm not going Nope. I'm not going to use- Nope. Box? Open the box. Maybe I'll get creative with it. Nah. Hmm. I am stuck. If I- Nope. No, 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 no. I am stuck. Interesting. I am unsure of what to do with these things. Can't jump off a cliff. That's not an option. I can't actually use these items. It's apparently too cold to go out for a swim. I guess I'll talk everybody talk to everybody in the town again and see what I can find. Whew. This game is giving me a run for my money and I didn't even pay for the game. Can't play duck game. Not allowed to play duck game. It's a shooting gallery for kids. And there are no kids. How do I bring the kids to the yard? Can't do thought of that. Can't get the guy to play the guitar, although I'd love to be able Patience, to. Just a moment. All right. Oh, maybe I just have to like sit here. Maybe I just wait for him to play the guitar. Patiently waiting. I don't think that's going to work. Baron Otto Teton of Trubrook Soots, reunite. Okay. He's got nothing. I can't get more nuts. Baron, Mr. The play. Maybe like. I need to be on my way. Should I try the thingy again? 
Maybe I can just take this trophy. Uh, let him. Tr okay. I'm trying to think. Like, it, he wants me to eat vitamins. I don't have any vitamins anymore. There's nothing for me to eat. And I feel like I should be able to put the little thingy onto the, the th onto the paddle boat. Because, like, I'm pretty sure that flotation device could most definitely be used as, like, a paddle thing. Right? Hades. Hmm. Anything I can, like, sweet talk you into again? Hey, sweetheart. Good evening. Goodbye. I'll be leaving. All right, then. I'm gonna look at the thing. I'm gonna use my eyeglass option to take a look at it again. Or maybe get more lightning bugs. It doesn't look all too seaworthy. I already fixed the leak. Okay. But it has no paddle wheel. Okay. Where could I get a paddle wheel? It's much too cold. To okay, I got that. It's much what else could I get? Is there something else around here? The tree, perhaps. I can whistle the tree. A beautiful Acasoidu platanus, the sycamore maple. What a beautiful sounding tree. Is there something that I'm not clicking on? Hmm. I will whistle for the birds again. I, you know, I didn't explore the birds too much. Perhaps there's more to do with the birds. Because that's how I found the ticket the first time. All right, now that I have the birds here, where else can I bring them? Um, I can kick this lamppost again. That's always an option. Kick! I turned the light off. And now that I turned the light off, there's more of these little fireflies. That's cute. I can just look at them. A swarm of fireflies is gathering around the broken streetlight. Maybe hmm. they think it's their god. Maybe they do. I wonder what it's like to be a firefly. Yeah, wondering who your god is literally all the time. I can only imagine. Oh my god, did I actually move in that direction? Oh, okay, I can apparently go over here now. That's cool. Did not, I'm pretty sure I've clicked that three times now. I'm going to call the birds. Serve me, swarm. Pick up the mess. Find me something good. I will whistle at you again. Fly away, birdies. Or don't. That's that's perfectly okay as well. I see an environmental disaster of at least medium proportions. Certainly not an extra large proportion. I can see that thing on the tree. Keep out. Okay. Packets and groceries delivery. Oh, I see. Whistle two times, leave delivery on doormat, and exit the area. Oh, okay. No advertisements. On the doormat. Delivery on the doormat. Is that a doormat? It's a metal can. Oh, I can use that as a paddle wheel, can't I? I can totally use that as a paddle wheel. Nice. There is... A Ballad of Heinz and Truda, Symphony Number no. 5, Ode to Klaus. Oh, yo. Okay. I am going to climb that rope. Well, this is fun. Came out of nowhere, literally. Dude, you are strong as hell. Look at you pulling yourself up with just your arms. That rope is also extremely strong as well. Wow. <gasps> Ooh. I see light bulbs or pears in that tree. Should I leave an offering? The perfect spot for a bench. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. I'm gonna go up. Who's up here? Oh, hello. All right. Hey, what are you doing up here? I said no visitors. And and who the hell are gotcha. you? This is private property. And you're obviously on my turf. Meaning? This time, boy. You've chosen the wrong neighborhood. What are you going to do? Shoot me? Uh, I'm selling these fine massage rods. I don't have the massage rod. I didn't mean to disturb, though. Forgive me. I didn't mean to disturb. <sighs> didn't you read the sign? Um, are you referring to the keep out sign or the one that says no trespassing? I read and deliberately ignored I them. I read and deliberately ignored them. <laughs> Very funny. It's true. You're one of them. I know. Confess. I, ca I can confess, them? yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. Not again. Not okay. this guy. I'll tell you once and for all, I'm not an alien. I'm just an illegal immigrant. A what? No, just kidding. I came over an here alien? willfully. alien? Huh. Now you think you've been clever, don't you? No. No, sir. No, no, no. And just, just trying in to case be the truth. you want me to take part in any tests, 
Let me tell you. I don't you want it. government guys are getting more and more annoying. I don't want it. Wait. Government guys? I already told you guys last time. Not on my watch. I'm me not a government guy. Rank soldier. You're with the uh, CIA? BND? HVA? FBI? NSA? Spit it out! We're in Germany. Um, I'm a quantum physicist. Name's Tannhauser. I'm a quantum physicist on vacation. Liar! That's ridiculous! You, <laughs> you think I'd believe in quantum physics? Else? You must take me for a Say fool. Say something! Um, I like your hat. Nice hat. Oh, huh, thank you. Okay, I guess you're right. It is a very nice the hat. The quality of your lies doesn't imply a higher intelligence at work. Quite the opposite, in fact. <laughs> yeah. So, what are the you people who are dumbest anyway? are the ones who are the highest at work. <laughs> Duh. Whole story. Okay, um, do I have to write it well, all out for you? It all began a few weeks ago, when I got this notification that said I won a trip to Europe. I was stunned, but Aunt Lottie gave her blessings. A prize like this should not be forfeited, she said. I might even be able to discover some distant relatives. Also, that I deserved a break. She only wished for me to return safe and sound. So, after a brief visit to Berlin, I began my journey. And this is how it all went down. And that's how I ended up here. And then I smoked some dank story. kush and threw it I off mean, into the distance. It's ridiculous, but I'm inclined to believe you. It's true. Now, about the part with the Millennium Cooperative. Yeah. I always had the impression that something wasn't quite right with them. Yeah, I mean, they're not right at all. They measure with a hexagon. Okay. There's no right angles Bye. at a hexagon. Feel free to visit me anytime. We can go into all the details. Mm -hmm. Name's Lessing, by the way. Nice to meet you, Lessing. Cool. Wonderful. Can I talk to your squirrel? Talk with your squirrel. That's drowsy. He's me friend. Sleepy fella. Like sleepy fellas. Can I have that thing there? Is that providing power? Is it a wind turbine? Okay, I am just taking this then. That's incredible. That's mine now. This Yoink! Light bulb is wind powered. 100% clean energy. Nice. That's definitely going to be enough to power my quantum disassociator or whatever. The landscape vaguely reminds me of home. Look at all the mountains. I'll take this. Detailed blueprints for a bunker layout. Nice. Odd. Odd. I want this trumpet. No way. Brass is my kryptonite. And contact allergies are nothing to joke about. As in, like, making contact with brass? Because, like, I have a skin sensitivity a to nickel that caused my Rations, lips to blow up when I played the trumpet. Meals, tin foil, magazines. Nice. Coincidence? I think not. I'd rather not sniff around. It probably smells like shit in there. Or maybe it doesn't. All right, bro. Um, what else you got to tell me? Special Agent Hans Tannhauser. I'm with the FBI. <laughs> Very funny. Hilarious. What do you know about the Millennium Cooperative? Tell me what more. What do you know about the Millennium Cooperative? Give me all of your belongings so that I may progress in the story. I know powerful people. A secret society like the Freemasons or the Illuminati. Illuminati. They're directing from the shadows. Globally. Except instead of using Playing the triangle, like it's all about the strings. hexagon. They surely build something fishy up there in the mountains. I always knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. You must have been down the deepest depths of the rabbit hole. You must have been down the deepest depths of the You went all up in that hole, or I rather have. down in that hole, because rabbits build downwards, I think, where they and burrow. Babylonian writings, you will see a pattern emerge that... Ah! You hear that, hum? Stop it. Make it stop. Stop, stop, stop! It's them! They try to slowly drive me insane with their atomic radiation! Sir, can you please calm down? Could you, could you perhaps lower your Ever voice a little bit? the term Saturn portal? Of course! In theory, the Saturn portal describes a kind of interdimensional opening. A gate to the so stars. So Gretchen's one of those like crazy people. Or a junction in space-time. That sounds familiar. Indeed. Sounds like a that lot sure of hoo-ha to me. Like science fiction to me. Well, you know, kind of like a H.G. Um, Wells physics, and whatnot. Blending modern George Orwell? science with the cult magic. They are trying to establish a connection to the southern pole of Saturn using Birkeland currents. Birkeland currents. Ever heard of that? They no, but I think I'm gonna have to write it down. Out into the cosmos. Birkeland. In form of an electric plasma Sounds a lot like gravity waves to me. I think Einstein helix, was right about that. A conduit right up to Saturn. Yep. To free the entities trapped in there. If you're looking I don't know if I want to free any of the Saturn, entities that are trapped in Saturn. Although I did shape. see Saturn up in the sky. The hexagon. Pretty cool. 
Maybe we're not even on Earth, you know? So why are you living out here on your own? The government obviously believes that I'm a threat. Is it so obvious? So they declared me insane and put me in the sanitarium. And then you escaped? Back in the days when it used to be a real sanitarium. Before the cooperative took over. When okay. things went down the drain, I realized that people like me have no place in a society like this. People like, like what? Like the sanitarium society? Or like the people you of Chubabrook who seem to be, in my we opinion, at least, rather normal? Until our day comes. Resist. All right, well, I, I think, think you've answered all my questions. Feel free to visit me anytime. I would be happy to not. I'm going to go fix a boat, go out into the water, and um, make something of my life. I have a, an interdimensional man to put back to where he belongs. That's not a metaphor, probably. Can I observe anything? That pair looks like it's got a little jack-o'-lantern face on it. Very cute. Oh, there's something on the mat. Can I look at it? Slumber, moral, endangered. Serious interference with the environment. Trooper, over the past few weeks, the stocks of the local Trooper Moral have become the victims of overzealous mushroom pickers. A foreign wild picker caught with several kilos of the poisonous mushroom in his basket was temporarily taken into custody. Wild mushroom picking is no trivial offense, but theft, the found quantity, in fact, even qualifies for a grave theft. According to the authorities, slumber morals are increasingly being processed into psychoastic teas in, dr in the drug scene of the bigger cities. The Brookenlanda District Administration is therefore asking for your help and catching unauthorized mushroom poachers and urgently warns the consumption of all substances produced from slumber morels. The consequences are incalculable and the health risks largely unexplored. Slime tree spotted after the big double cough summer tournament, uh, the Tribune reported, the unfortunate incident with fatal consequences happened. The 63-year-old third place Katharina S. from the small Dreipholzer Street sip slipped on a track of strange blue-green goo and contracted a fracture of the femoral neck. We wish her to get well soon. The substance was seized for further ex er, examinations. Signed, Piss. New opening hours. Trooperbrook, the Hades boat rental and souvenir shop, is preparing for the off-season. The opening hours for the late summer now come into effect. Tuesdays to Sundays, 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. and 3 p.m. and 8 p.m. No service on Wednesday afternoon. Monday's closed. All boats are to be returned at least 30 minutes before closing time. Signed, Piss. Well, if y'all have nothing to do on Mondays or Wednesdays at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time, that's when I stream on twitch.tv slash Cameron with an X. Don't ask me why the X is there, but you have to type it into the search bar or else you get somebody else completely. Promise you that. And I don't I don't know if they're good people. They they could very well be good people, but I don't know if they're good people. We'd have to ask them nicely. All right, so I managed to go over there into um what seems to be a small tree. I'm going to fix the paddle boat now, which I can probably use with this little thing here. I also have a metal can top. That's also going to be very useful. This should suffice for a paddle wheel. Nice. I guess it does. Can I go on the boat now? It's much too cold to go. Okay. Can I just Ahoy. use a thing? Oh. Okay. Oh, I'm going out there. Is there a little island out there? Oh my goodness. The woods surrounding Trubberbrook emanate a dreary sense of blindness. Oh my god, there's something quantum over here. In a more terrifying, dreadful environment. Wow, all right. To this is different. There is a green glow spreading through the Fenwoods. Fascinating. How oh, fascinating. What does that sign say? Yeah, walk over it, uh, Tannenhauser. No trespassing. All right. Sensational discovery. Sensational. Signed, the Paleontological Society of Trevor Brook. Why would the paleontologist be? Oh, I see. Uh, there is, there is um, a a dinosaur skeleton. Maybe dinosaurs are going to be in season. And so are dead bodies, perhaps. <laughs> that person's straight up dead. Okay. I guess I'll make an observation of the Beverly, of the bones. I now stand right in front of the legendary Trubberbrook specimen. All this right. close. I find it all the less surprising people here have cultivated the myth of a sea monster. Because there was, in fact, a sea monster. Or something that people could call a monster because they lack the understanding. I am gonna... Good idea, Hans, but that doesn't work at all. Yeah, great idea, dude. <laughs> not, not working at all. I'm gonna take these boots. Can I? Can I take the boots? He won't be needing these anymore. They did their job. Or did they? I'm gonna use these boots to cross over and get those fungal- I'm gonna get the morels, right? Hello? Excuse me, sir. That probably wasn't very Let's nice. Let's see if he had anything on him. 
Only if it helps to clear his identity. Oh, it's de definitely money, right? It's coin? Is it a coin? An old rusty key. A rusty... Okay, that could be useful. Beverly, dead. I took a paddle boat and ventured forth towards the final frontier of this region. A forlorn swamp of ancient origin. It is rather forlorn out here. Way, I came Kinda across spooky. the mortal shell of a lost wanderer. Whether he was led astray by a wisp or fell victim to this region's mythical beast, the hook elf, hook remains elf. a mystery to be disentangled. I can only hope and to I be don't quite feel that I am prepared to disentangle this particular mystery. Not until Trooper Brook is over. I'm probably... I don't know how many more chapters there are to this game. If there's more than just whatever comes after this whole, like, quantum discriminator thing, I'm not continuing it tonight. I'm getting tired. I wonder if I can use the key on this thing over here, though. Oh, God, there's more. Interesting. Hmm. Locked. Lock it. Can I cross the water with the boots? Good idea, Hans, but that doesn't work. Oh, apparently that does not work. I can't reach them. Naturally. <laughs> Excuse me. What if I go into here? Is this a power source? Oh, I'm not feeling too well. Maybe I've been irradiated. Is that going to help me out? I feel like being irradiated has some benefits here. Oh, I am most definitely irradiated. That is incredible. Um, can I cross the water now? Good idea. Okay. Um, can I bring the bones back to life? No? Okay, I'm gonna go on the boat. And see if this helps me out. Oh! Maybe because I'm super uh, energized, I'm super duper strong now. I'm gonna try that. I think... Who needs the roids when you've got gamma radiation? I saw that in a Marvel movie once. Or an entire show. It was the Hulk. And She-Hulk. That series was interesting. Oh wait, I bet I can unlock this thing now. Or maybe the box upstairs. That might actually work. Go get him, Glowhauser. Locked. That's okay. I know exactly where this other one might. Oh, maybe it's the door. Maybe there's a door. The door in the um. Oh, the place. Door in the place. You get this trophy. Watch me go. I'm all powered up now. Stop it, I missed it. Yes. Why not? Why Let's not? try it again. Now that I'm super duper powerful and green and giving off lethal doses of radiation. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh man! Right, all right. That was ooh, not so bad. Okay. Just between the two of us, you could well, use a little. I tried to eat my vitamins, but apparently vitamins Always don't come up in the form of gamma radiation like I thought they would. Mind. Yeah. All right, bro. Sounds good. Can I eat nuts now? No, I probably I not. Will you play for me now that I'm inching closer and closer to death and potentially lethal doses of cancer stuff? Temperature. All right. Not gonna worry about the kids now. I am gonna go up here though and see if I can use this key up. Actually, I feel like maybe it's better for me to go over here. Maybe now that I'm irradiated, I can like convince Truda to give me my dildo. Open the door with the key. Open the door with the key. Yes. Perfect fit. Perfect fit. Excellent. Excellent. I'm opening it up. Is there a tool in there? Uh, oh, I can go to the basement. Wow. Beverly. I have unearthed the gate to a sealed crypt. The cellar. The cellar of this lodge. My descent begins. Oh, am I just, am this I just going for it? This is what Professor Lidenbrock must have felt when he climbed down the Snifels, you go. Yeah, that, that, I, I definitely know what that is. I can hardly see a thing. Maybe because I'm glowing. Oh. Light the way. Oh, friends. I have the light bugs. Great. Where am I to go? Do I click the stairs and stuff? Um... Oh, I see. Just keep on walking. Just keep on a walking. Down, down, down. Down to Pound Town. Uh, I hope Pound Town isn't down here. Um, Hugh Neutron's got to get back to his wife. Okay, box, uh, barrel. Box and barrel. Trevor Brook's finest dry yeast. For all I know, there's actually an incredibly powerful power plant down here for all Trooper I know. Trevor Lager Pills and Beer. Export. For the snout around the world. Incredible. There's stuff in the corner. There's a lot to this chapter. My goodness. Malt? malt? Okay. I have malt now. Am I gonna like... What am I making with this? Can I pick up this trash can lid too? <laughs> My god. Okay. There is a lot going on here now. It's a recipe for Boltzenschuss schnapps. Fruit. Top secret. Malt. Yeast. Season with Let's a pinch see. of slumber more. I need the... I need the, um... Add yeast. 
Season with a I need this, the mushrooms. Slumber morale. Dead simple. Streng geheim. Ops malt dazu. Heffen zu geben. Mit einer Pizza schlummer morzel abschmecken. Dead simple. It's gonna kill someone. Oh my god, I'm gonna fucking kill somebody. Awesome. I need to find a way to ignite the gas. Oh wait, I, do, I, do I have something for that? Do I not have something to ignite the fire gas yet? making first. I need to make the fire first. I need to... I, how do I not have something to ignite? Okay, I, I have more things to explore then, apparently. I'm gonna go back up. Back up. Back up we go. I'm going back up. I've got the ingredients for barley. I need schussel musser or mush... Blah, 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 something like that. Okay. Truda, look at me. I'm glowing green. Truda. I have problems. Professor, Give me my you vibrating rod. Out of the ordinary? Yes. Never mind. Um, real you deposit? My... Yo. Never mind. Okay, ask you oh, something. Yes. Can you tell me about your brother? Oh, God, a lot. Oh, can you tell me, can you about, tell your me about your brother? He's a drunkard. He's also not the most reliable type of person, if that counts as a feat. That's fair. As you see, he's I think I found him dead. here alone with all this work that needs to be done. Seems like quite can the guy. Can you give me a description? Should you run into him? Is that why you are asking? Yes. Tall grown, beardy type. Red nose, always wearing those yellow rubber boots. Yep, he's dead. Why Sorry, man. Want to know? I think I may have met him. I think I may have met him. I found his mortal remains out there in the mire. He's dead. I'm sorry. Uh, are you sure? <laughs> are you I sure? She says, sense. like, hiding <gasps> one of those oh, glasses. Heinz. What a guy. Poor old Heinz. Well, at least we finally brought closure. Rest in peace. Can't say I'm really surprised. Thank you very much. You're so welcome, ma'am. Anything I will to help the out. Inspector immediately. At least he didn't take the long trip for nothing then. He went out there and he died. I would. Oh yes. Can can you Got give a me light. a light? Sure thing. Here you go. Excellent. Well, uh, I don't need that no. yet. First, I need to go out and I get those be... slumber shaffles or uh, whatever. I'll be. Make your. I'm gonna go get the good. Oh wait, maybe I should. Maybe I'll be the power. Maybe I am the power source. Maybe that's what's happening here. Perchance I am the power source. Maybe that's what's gonna happen. I'd actually love to see that because that would be very funny. How else am I supposed to create ninety thousand volts of electricity or watts or whatever it was? Much better way to use the human engine, powered by and brought to you by gamma radiation. There I go. It's much. Okay, I don't know what that. Um, floaty is supposed to be. I don't know what that's supposed to be. But that's okay. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. I think maybe now that I have the two pans, maybe I can cross the water like that. Maybe I'm using them as like little lily pads. I have a lot of them. I can probably walk on water with this. Oh yeah, that's that's exactly how you're gonna do it. Gone for the sizzle trooms. Oh my god, he's Jesus! He didn't fall in like the other dude. There's somebody out here getting all the mushrooms and stuff. And it happens to be our guy. I will record something, I guess. That's what I'll do. It is a well-known fact that some mushrooms are held in high regard all over the world for their hallucinogenic effects. Like these ones. As a means of cleansing, to gain insight either metaphysically or mystically, or to make contact with the gods. Even the cosmos itself. And to get really, really Trouble high. seems to be no exception. Where people have been secretly worshipping the slumber morale for centuries. And creating hallucinogenic beverages. Delicious. I'll be taking that. Nice. Alright, I don't think there was anything else out here for me to... I guess to kind of wander around about. Nothing here at least. Not in this tiny island. Alright. I'll take my guys. I'll go back. I'm gonna make some malt beer, and then I'll give it to somebody. Who am I trying to get to go to sleep, though? I wonder. I don't know. Should I be able to go back into this thing? Does this thing look like it opens? I don't remember whether or not it said, like, oh, it's locked or something. Probably is, though. Hmm. Locked. Okay. Well, I clearly don't yet have a tool for that, so that that's fine, then. Oh, you know what? Maybe, oh, maybe boy. what I'm going to do is I'm going to make use the slumber morel like beer stuff to make it into cotton candy, and then I'm gonna like, I don't know, make the strong guy fall asleep so I can take the lit statue. 
Or maybe I'm gonna drink it, and I'll be the one who's sorry. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Maybe I should talk to you first. I haven't talked to you in a hot minute. I fixed your boat. You fixed the boat. I did fix the boat. How can I ever thank you? Give me money. Don't worry about it. No, no, no. I insist. Please take this as a symbol of my appreciation. Thank you. I don't know what it is. This postcard will help me find my way around. Incredible. Uh, thanks. No, thank you. Okay. I will. I have a, I have a postcard now. Do I? Do I have a postcard? I don't think I have a postcard. Alrighty then. I will take it. Don't know why I need... Oh, okay. Oh, that's interesting. Come and visit Trooper Brother. Oh, I can actually go wherever I want to now. That is very convenient. Is this how that's going to work? Can I just go anywhere now? Oh, I see. Hey, look at that. Okay. Fast travel. I'm okay with that. I guess I'm going to need that. Look who we've got here. Oh, yeah. Look at me. Just uh, the old smoker boots. again. Smoking Please on a screwdriver. Thanks again. My pleasure. You're looking a bit pale. No problem, if dude. I may say so. Oh yeah, very Here, pale. Have one of these. They always work. Oh my me. goodness, what are you giving me now? Vitamin pills? Vitamin pills. My Sit goodness, back. I'm going to take my vitamins and I'm going to be as strong as a freaking beast. All based on herbal essences. That's beautiful. Thanks. I definitely need whatever yeah. essences are there herbally for going. whatever is about to happen See in my body later. after this. Probably a lot of cancer. Oh, shit, I'm not green anymore. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna go back to the thingy. I'll go here. I think that's up on the hill with the other. No, I'm back. I'm back here again. Okay, I don't think I need that. Uh, what is this? Is this back to the mire? All right, so that sends me back to the mire. Okay. This is to the bottom of the town, I guess, right? Okay. Ahoy. Oh no, I thought I was gonna get the uh, fast travel. I was wrong. Okay, that's okay. So this is the this is the marsh. That's the coast. That's the tree. That's the sanatorium, and this is the town. Okay. Well, I can fast travel now. That's that's my wildly convenient. Can I eat my pills? Eat my pills. Pills? We use my pills to get strong. Step right up, Mister. Yes. Why not? Why not? I think I used my pills. Bam! Oh my goodness, I'm the strongest person in town. That's incredible. Wow. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. I love how this guy watched I me try three or four champion. times, went up to go get my roids, and he came back. Here, this is your price. A giant uh, lead trophy. trophy. Like a trophy made out of lead. This is true. Yeah. This one's a real beauty. I cannot wait to stick my tongue Thanks. all over it. <laughs> Delicious. Mmm, lead trophy. All right, now I'm gonna go up here because I think I have a coin. I have a coin? I'm pretty sure I have a coin for that little telescope. If I'm correct in saying. Coin for the tele? Nope, I don't have a coin for the telescope. I thought maybe I did. No, okay. Well, I'm gonna go back down then. I don't even know if I need the telescope. We'll see. We'll see. Alright, go in here, and then... I'm gonna go downstairs and make some beer or whatever. I'm gonna go make some beer, don't mind me. Ooh, do I have anything big enough to break that television yet? I don't really know. I don't even know if I'm breaking I the television. See a thing. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. Don't worry. Light the way, my friends. Light the way. Let's go. Let's go make some beer. It's the the ichor of life. The thing that will bring us vitality and potentially um uh narcolepsy cuz I'll fall asleep all the time. All right, dudes. Let's do it. Fire first. I have a lighter. Fire first. Lighter. Lighter before your brewer. Now I can put all the ingredients. I put the. Oh wait, wait, wait. There's an. In There's a recipe to follow here. I remember there was a recipe. What is the recipe? Order. It's a recipe for malt, secret. yeast, fruit, add, add yeast, fruit. Season with a dead sim. Wait, I don't have fruit. Oh, maybe I just add them in whatever order I want. The recipe to. mentions fruit to be. Fr okay, I. Th I definitely saw fruit up in that tree. Maybe I. I get him. I get some fruit. 
There was definitely fruit in the tree. I have to go all the way back. My goodness. Maybe I can, like, show inventory hotspot and indicator. No, I thought maybe I'd be able to, like, just fast travel from here. That would be so convenient. Get him! Can I destroy the television yet? Nope. Is this clock any less weird than it was previously? Nope. All right, let's go get some fruit. Truder, can I have my dildo, please? Please. Please. All right. I figured I'd ask. There was there was only one way to ask. Go to town square. Let's go. Let's go get him, bud. Oh, and I have the lead trophy trophy now, right? Okay. Trophy, shrooms, these thingamabobs, this thing that... Blah. Yeah, I got all this stuff. What else could there be? Are you ready to play your music yet? Sweet, sweet music. Patience. Patience. Patience, patience, patience. They say patience is a virtue. One that I do not think I have. I am gonna go to... The treehouse. That's where I wanna be. And I'm gonna go up. Oh, I have to do the whistle thing? Uh, it was owed to Klaus, I think. Pretty sure that was the one I needed. Yep. I just need to sing the right song, and then my buddy just like, you know. He lets me come up and visit. What a nice guy. May I have some fruit, please? Fruit anywhere, please? Fruit? May I have this fruit? These fruits are mine to pick up. Yep, my fruit. Excellent! I have fruit. I'm going back down. Oh, please. I don't want to watch the animation. No! Oh, nice job. I'm glad that you still have hands left to move with, I suppose, because that seemed very, very painful. Good for you, Tannhauser. Good for you. All right, get him. Get him. Get him. Run! Run! It's time to go make beer! I guess it's kind of it's kind of brandy like. Well, I mean, I guess it depends on how much you distill it and whatnot. But where are you go, dude, bro, Tanhazy, where are you going? Move in the correct direction. Thank you, please, and thank you. Then we go downstairs. Combine malt, yeast, fruit, and deadly mushrooms together to create the most amazing thing. drink you've ever had, and Light the, way, my the last one you'll have. Oh, you got it. Run, 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 run. Running, 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 running. This is a very confusing way to walk downstairs. I like it. I like it, but it is very annoying. All right. Give me the fruit. Put the fruit in the kettle. Then I put this thing in the kettle. The recipe mentions malt. Okay, okay. Then we'll do this. This looks promising. Oh, delicious. Then the yeast. Only one more ingredient. The snuffer shrooms. Delicious. Yikes. Yikes. Maybe that's my power source. Oh, is that is that it? Oh, I see. I have the bottle now. I'm going to take a sample. For science. For science. For science. Okay, and what now? The soul travels, I see. Does my soul travel, but eventually enters the flesh again. Did I die? Are we doing another chapter? Have I moved on? Oh, what is going on? Oh, did I just straight up? I didn't die. I, I woke up on the bench because I'm crazy. How many days has it been? Whoa, that is some mean spirit. Good stuff. Alcohol. Never again. Never again. But what have I gained Wasn't from that? Wasn't I carrying some cool gadgets in my pockets earlier? Oh no. Um. Yes. Okay. What oh the? my. Whoa. All right. What? That was freaky. Huh. It's all white and snowy now. God bless. What's this? Did you ever see the likes of it? I did not. What's Tell going me more. on? Where are you heading? I don't no know. No time to lose. Don't you see the cold front? I have to go to the weather station. All right. There's a weather station here. <laughs> Tell me about their weather station, girl. Silly. What was that? I don't know. Don't ask me, Tanhauser. I'm as clueless as you are. Let's head to the town. Oh, okay. Things are good again. That's pretty wonky. 
We're going between nuclear winter and not so nuclear fall. Oh, maybe I'm like traveling between dimensions now. You want to play me a song now? Here, here's some moonshine. Get drunk and play music. This one is on you, boys. Nice. Oh, exactly what I need. Thanks. You're so welcome. Are you gonna like Enjoy drop that or show. something? I will. Thank you. The crowd gathers. The show begins. And then this dude goes batshit crazy. I can't miss this gig. Oh, nice. Okay. I found pe Oh, this dude is singing. He's gonna sing me a song. If you walk past the gallows. This is kind of spooky. I'm into this. Okay. Can I like walk around during this? Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, that's so cute. I can set off fireworks. That's great. Specifically on this dude. The band. There's. I'm telling you, something doesn't feel right about this concert here. I just gave this guy like deadly moonshine. I feel like he's just gonna drop dead during the stage, or maybe he's gonna like transcend his mortal form. That'll be pretty cool. I guess it's just time to vibe, you know? That's chill. Kind of cool the sounds they're making with an accordion, an upright bass, a drum kit, and a guitar. And the human voice. Oh, does it keep going? Come closer to me. Lie to me, stranger. Keep keep on lying. Come closer, lie to me, stranger. See my party glasses on for this one. beginning of this chapter did mention something about transdimensional blues. Dude, I can't wait to rob this guy after he's done singing. Gu guitar solo? Did it just, just keep going? This just keeps on going? Oh, but there's always time for more stuff, you know? saying more stuff, but who am I to block the concert? Sad song. Still going. That was good stuff.
I love this little guitar in her loop. This is beautiful. Wish I had like a lighter to like kind of hold my. Oh, I got my phone. Oh, we gotta turn my. Oh, my flatlight. There we go. They straight up made a whole song for this game. That's beautiful. Nothing quite like partying to some sad music on a Halloween night. This does feel quite spooky. I'll take that. Somebody better tip this stranger. Would he leave his accordion behind? Oh, he totally left his accordion behind. My goodness. I'm gonna use this for my quantum they disintegrator. Won't be this anymore. No, they don't need this stuff. Perfect. Huh. An important component of the quantum discriminator. That's funny. I took the accordion and then, no no no, it's still there. I was gonna say I took the accordion and then I got rid of the accordion. Interesting. Um, I have a feeling that I should be green mode. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the swampy area. I'm going to walk into the green puddle and, like, irradiate myself, because I feel like that's important. Bzz, whoa. Something's glowing green. Yeah, touch it. Some... Oh, I, did I need it anymore? Oh, I guess I just needed that to get the stuff from, um... I guess that's all I needed. I just needed to, to talk to the woman to give me the vitamins. That's really interesting that that's all that I needed that for, apparently. Ahoy. Ahoy. Ahoy, 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 ahoy. I'm going back to the town. I'm gonna go there. Where will it send me, actually? Oh, nice, nice, nice. Okay. I don't know if I need anything else for this quantum discriminator thing. I think I got... Oh, no, no, I need the brown team from the television. How am I gonna do that? I need a tool for it, right? Maybe there's somebody else that I need to talk to. So the moonshine was to get the accordion thing. Truda, uh, vibrating massager Truda? thing? Hello. Real deposit? You... My what? Oh. Alright, nah, okay. Oh, I definitely need that. Side. So I don't need to go downstairs anymore, I'm guessing. There's nothing else to do with that thing. There's something weird about the clock for some reason. Can't do anything with that. Still nothing to do with that food. And I don't think there was anything up at the, um, the top of the hill. I guess I need to go to the sanitarium. That's a place that I haven't been to yet. I can put the accordion there. That's at least nice. Nice. That should work. Neat. Nice. That's a good start, isn't it? Three pieces left. I need three pieces left. That's incredible. Gretchen has an idea. Oh, dearest. There is no time to lose. There is absolutely no time to lose. Oh my goodness, we have a cutscene too. Another piece of calcium? I think I'm gonna end it after this part here. This is, this is wild. I've been playing this game for three hours and I still haven't made any progress. I'm getting closer though. All right, I think, I think that's okay. I don't know whether, I hope that it doesn't like kill my progress if I, actually I'm gonna look up real quick that whether it saves my progress. I, will, I wanna make sure that it does that. Otherwise I don't wanna leave all this behind. Truber Brook, save, save game. When is it save game? There is no auto save, which saves the game. When you take the nightly visitor in your room. This example, you cut the game after that. We start the save from the beginning. You see the visitor game. How do I? How do I make sure that I come back to this point? Uh, you'll start playing the beginning of the last scene you had played before. There is no auto saves. Take the nightly visit. Uh, takes a lot. It's really important to make sure that, sa that the saving system gets on the list for discussion in case of updates. That was back in March of 2019. Learning journeyman a trooper book. There's a lot of stuff here. Take pass at the game because of the lack of a manual save system. They save on exit would be nice. Hopefully an update will add the save system. I like... I hope that I don't have to go back and do this all from the beginning. I'm gonna... I'm gonna try it. I mean, I did have the last cutscene to save. So that's what I'm gonna do. Is I have a... I know what I need to do. 
if I need to come back here and do this again. And hopefully it'll be a lot quicker next the next time around. Because I am getting tired. And it's getting late over here on Halloween. We gotta go to bed. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna try to quit the game. And I'm gonna real quick see where it sends me back. At least so I know for next time. Okay. If I go back to start game. And I go back to chapter 4. Where does it take me? Hopefully back here again. I have the accordion on it, right? Yes, I have all of my stuff again. All right, cool. So I'm not starting over from complete scratch if I come back to this. So that's that's where I'm going to have it. That was fun. Trooper Rook is fun. I think I, I hadn't played this for quite a while. I don't know why I hadn't come back. It was kind of one of those indie games that I just got like gotten for free from like the Amazon Prime Games monthly stuff. And I just gave it a shot just to try, try it out. It's kind of nice. I've played quite a few indie games so far that I'm like, yeah, I could totally go back and play those things again. And I plan on doing so now that I've gone back to this whole like variety stream style of things because the cocktail stuff is really really fun the game stuff is really really fun so i'm trying to more evenly split my time between the two of those but this was a lovely way to spend halloween night i know i'm not the one who goes out trick-or-treating very often but if y'all did go trick-or-treating that's wonderful we actually we did go over the weekend to this little like halloween festival thing and we got we kind of stole like a free pumpkin it became free because we basically stole the pumpkin it's great that's what anna was carving she made a little cute little esmeralda out of it it was beautiful um, but we got to dress up. Anna made her Esmeralda cosplay, and I got to, to, to dress up as Frilla because she made the costume for me, which was awesome. I got my fluffy hat and everything, and it's great. And actually worked well over top of my headphones, which I don't need anymore because I there's no more game music to listen to. So I can just wear this naturally for the rest of the evening. So to everybody out there, no matter where you are in the world, if Halloween is over, I hope you had a fun one. You got all the candy or whatever that you might else wanted out of it. You know, Mischief Night and whatnot is another way that people celebrate these kinds of things. Um, and otherwise, if Halloween is yet to happen or it's about to or you're out there trick-or-treating right now i hope you get a lot of candy and stuff to all those who celebrate uh, hallows eve and whatnot and all saint day, saints day that i think that comes afterwards i hope you all have a wonderful spooky day i hope october was kind to you and if not hey you know what i guess we'll try to get it again next year and there's also always november which is one of my favorite months because it's a birthday month and i look forward to being able to share the beauty of it with everybody so no matter where you are in the world if the sun is shining may you have a wonderful morning if the moon is shining may you have a wonderful evening twilight dawn or witching hour have a wonderful one, everybody. And until next time, y'all, bye-bye. Happy Halloween. Ooh.